She needs you to be cheap, man. You finally have with damage, bro. But we're not something we're going to get right now. We're going to get the classic to play Love's Kin versus JP to start uh -huh. off the day. Let's play Token Modern Gamer. Modern Kin, bro. Oh, <laughs> ah. from YouTube. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we have a few modern players in the tournament. It's, it's not so uncommon anymore. But I don't think I've seen a Modern Kin in a little while. Yeah, I haven't either. Uh, I know Uriel Valorio was like talking about like maybe testing that out oh. to see what he can do as modern. Again, it's like a groove. He's getting caught up with that grip that the man grab hits. He hits him with the OD Pierce as well. Another one. Yikes. Multiple command grabs in the same round. That's a pretty massive dub for JV player. That's that's probably one of his only like kind of difficult things to set up in his kit. I mean, it's obviously still really cheap. And got, yo, what a snipe. Hello? That's what you do against the, uh, the ghost. You run those uh, gen rise. I'm sorry, the uh, dragon lash. That's unfortunate. That is actually one of those cheapest parts of this character. Is it a part of a toxic neutral? And force you to consider what happens when that comes through. Yeah, so so far, pretty diverse representation of JP toolkit from X Mundo. Nice job. But right now, it's all token offense. Let's go, Panda. Put him in the corner. Layer it in. Oh, we could have had a little combo there, I think. Yeah, after counter, you can get like crossing back punch or like take. I'm pretty sure. But coming to the floor, yeah, now we're going to commit to this yeah, level three yeah, big lead. Yeah, big lead and big problems for Token Panda Man. And he's sitting not so pretty. Oh, and just the go to the OD departure. That's a common setup after the level three, I think. OD and Mage bailed us out just instantly. Oh, we let it rip though? Mm -hmm. Let it loose. OD DP. Oh, on now. Token Panda ah. dash up. Double down with the throw. Oh, oh my God. damn! That's how you feel? OD Dragon Lash to catch like a throw possibly? Yeah. Man, Monitor that's classic. That, He's gonna do it anyway. That's a hole in my knowledge. I don't know, like how unsafe is OD Jinra? Or Dragon Lash? I actually don't know. It is unsafe. Well, let me find the exact number. As I do play this oh. character, but I never go for that. Unfortunately, there is a back row though. Okay, try to get another one in. I mean, I like that we're seeing it at least. It's kind of cool. It's like a call out. X Window holding it down though in the third round. Massive life lead. Not so hot on the drive gauge. If somehow Token Panda can get in here and pressure into a burnout. Okay, and starting with the confirm, that's even better. Level two. Maybe they'll land or keep the level one, I guess, but let's get the drive down and that's the end of the round the crouching medium punch. And that was gonna be a risky option anyway. Like that is minus, but it is minus nine, so that's like what? Crouching medium punch at minimum if you want to start the party off as a punish. You've got to be careful running those minus situations. So I'm kind of wondering, man, um, as a kin guy, do you, what would you think is like your big value out of choosing modern? Easier anti air It'd be easier to like, they try to go for like a teleport. Easier way to uh, to deal with that option. And so you try to see it right there, like the DP, the, like those little options. But if you miss time, doesn't matter if it's modern or classic, you're going to get got. Yeah, I mean, it makes a lot of sense. I'm kind of wondering what Ken loses at this point. I mean, this is seeming like pretty normal business from the Kins that I see, modern and classic. 100% sure. Ooh. Right now, it's sitting in the Definitely looks like uh, Ken oh, overhead man. again. Oh, he goes for the low this time. Mixing him. <laughs> That's actually funny. Just sort of peppers in the, the Gen Rising. Goes for the OD Gen Rising in neutral. <laughs> Uh, Token Panda going kind of crazy with the options here. Nice pressure sequence. If we can just let, we need a couple more of those, and then suddenly it's tied after such an impressive first few games from Xmundo. One, well, not over. Finds the overhead to follow up. Pan Pierce, Pierce. Level one will get it done. Well optimized here from the side. Amundo. Yeah, pretty good response, man. He was getting pressured hard. It was getting weird, but he lames it out. Finds his opportunity to stack some damage and converts the round. Nice job from X Moon. Ooh, fighting back with the poke and a nice little separation confirm. We build all that distance. What a oh, dude. The juggled man. What is this? Oh, no. Punish counter. Off the hard knockdown and off the backboard. Level three. Could put him in that level two situation. Trying to steal the deal like a teleport throw. Makes like right after. Actually, with teleport raw, does he need to use the bar to make him fall? That's it. That's just a perfect kill for the side of Moon. So things that you lose on the side of Ken actually are jumping media punch, which is really good. Anybody for is entered in this tournament tonight, including your top two from CEO Taku, CEO Taku Punk and Dude. So, oh, we got Ryu, baby. Johnny Boy. Lone Wolf from Canada. Canada, let's go, man. Hello, Mustard Pie with the sub. As soon as my man hit it with the. Uh, Donkey Kick as an anti-air? 
Yo, is Del's on fire? Is that you? <laughs> that's a feels good too if you're a Ryu player hitting that with the anti. Oh, that's a good call out on the OD. Wake up headbutt. That will not be throw so far. Benny Hoke. Hoke. Johnny Lawrence with the lone one on the Ryu. Not many of you. We're definitely playing some video games out here. Yeah, Ryu kind of a struggle character right now, but honestly, honestly, maybe this is hot. But Honda kind of is too. I mean, from as, as, as much hype as he had, as much frustration as he had to start, this kind of stuff, it's working right now. Oh, big man confirmed on the table. He didn't finish it off, but I mean, pretty much he's going to play well. Yeah, he knew it. OD at butt seals the deal. He wouldn't get that chip no dip either way. But Ben coming back in business. The other things about Honda that kind of, uh, I feel like, dropped down his, uh, the Honda points, uh, the Honda stocks, I should say, is like the fact that his defense is not so good up in the corner. Super sus. He ain't the got really good cool wake ups and things like that. But on offense, he's kind of nasty. Nice DI. That's a big per conversion. We actually spent some. Oh, we don't get the cancel, though. It is so tough to get the eyes in on Honda. So nice for Johnny to get the one, but asking for two is a whole lot. Oh, we whipped the level three, two, man. We can smoke. Yeah, cook, seared up, and served on a platter. Brain splatter. Ben with the first W. There's a good start from Johnny. Let it get away from him a little bit. It's kind of, it's like a tilter, man. Once Honda gets started on you. Yeah, he's got like, what, three whole special moves, but between the two that you have to deal with the most, it just gets you in sometimes. Six good one coming through with the five. Thank you so much. I see the love. Ooh. Oh, you put yourself at burnout. Oh, no. I'm going for a back throw. But just still make the magic happen. Uh -oh. Stamp here. Stop that from happening. That's cut that out. Crazy, man. So, we, oh, he be GB with the $10. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and juice up the Majorino like crazy. Why not? For no reason. Mm -hmm. For no reason. Yeah. But just juice it because. up. Because. Because we can. Thank you for the donos, boys. We appreciate that. One no no in donos. Here. John is creating some space, but that could come back to haunt him. We are low on the drive gauge, which is always pretty scary against Honda. We try to react, but we spin too much, man. It's a drive gauge. Reckless driving is what boy Jimbo would say. Finds a fault with the super. This is damaging. It dealt because you're caught from the corner with no reversal except for, like, the levels. Of but now we see a back throw, though. Ben. Ooh. Yeah, Ben could just run the head, head butts and hands. Everything just needs to land right there to get that chip no dip, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Burnout, pretty scary when Honda is in full effect. And I mean, he's right now kind of just getting out of his own burnout by going Honda crazy. That's a punish counter. Got to be careful with those donkey kicks up close. Good try. Johnny Lone Wolf holding down headband army. I see you out there. Fine, bro. Look, I don't even know what that is. Put it on. What is that little black ball right there? I don't know. Put it on. <laughs> Chasing it? No. Put it on. That's kid players. Maybe a little reckless. We'll see what it do. Shitakuma, uh, obviously uh, up to the name of. Remember him from the five days, put a lot of a cool but that character's not here. What's here is Ryu. And Aki, baby. This is our first look at Aki here on the tournament stage. I can't, I'm honestly still a little bit in disbelief that she's even like here right now. Like that we're, like we're seeing this. Right? It's been a while. Been Ooh. For so long. All oh, finds a fantastic jump in against a fireball, which was recovery right there. DP, Shin, Akuma, and Burnout did not find the follow up. Um, I don't know if he thought he hit the EX or not. He oh, did the awesome. meaty donkey kick. That's disgusting. Finds a punish, puts Elder Goose away in the first round. We saw a couple of things out of Elder Goose. We saw the little like, chain blade, which is like a fireball check, uh, but not too much yet. Okay, dry rush combo. What we have? We got the snake legs. Return. You, Let's see what this up. Yeah, maybe looking for like OD Pierce to get through the fireballs. Normal yeah. fireball play is kind of hard because of the, that dungeon. Looks like it's difficult to deal with. That's a check play. Shinakuma already took down Dai. He's going to take down Elder Goose. That was up. It's an OD meme, bro. That is, that is a dark meme. Oh, he actually recovered in time off of that, but got counter hit. So he was doing something. All right, poison's in effect. It's gone. They're right there. Love that jump medium. You're not getting the first kind of auto uh, pilot right there. You're not getting the donkey kick follow up. Should have come away so that bar is all built Ooh. up. That, that moves fast, man. Oh, we get poison on the normal too or on the special. I like that. First counter. And if you follow up, try to get the drive impact and seal the deal. Sweep is punished. The only chance for Elder Goose are being done by Elder Goose as he cleans up that sweep. 
the voice of Ooh, Pete. There we go. That's, that's what I was looking for. OD to cut through the fireball. I like that. That's so gross. I want her to be good, man. I don't... I, I mean, I, I can already sense that Rashid's going to be pretty crazy. So if she's at least as good as Rashid, I'll take it. I like her to be there. The super rules for sure. So damn it. Yeah, drive us couch the kick to make that button actually deadly. Bruh. Oh my god, hold on, not is, done is yet. This DJ cut? Oh, he's gonna get the follow-up. Man, if there was I don't know if that's even possible, but that would have been sick. The damage dealt out. Elder Goose! No! Elder Goose! Bro, you did the sickest conversion, the sickest combo, and you're gonna die! You're gonna die. The level three is all you need. Oh my lord. I need to know really quick, can the poison kill you? Can you die on poison? To kill you. I'll get you not. die on poison. Yeah, but I've seen takedowns like that. Magic pixel. So that would be ridiculous. That combo did so much damage, man. I've seen the I've seen the Twitter clips for sure. People are embracing her damage. So just a meaty jump in though, and we get a follow-up. Shinakuma is cooking. Alright, fine. It's a punish, here we go. Here's Comes in against a fireball. Good call. He saw you had the digit chart, so like, what else would you want? You stock up with Dingin, you don't let that Hadouken fly. Ooh, he gets a little puddle set up in the corner. I like that. We go for the DI. What's our stun combo here? Poison. That's so cheap. You can stack that before the combo. You're dead. Level one? My masterwork. And she floats down like thing? This Bro, character so rolls. Sick, this character so rolls. Sick. I'm getting high chat. <laughs> This is good. This is actually good. I was so afraid, you know, that we're gonna get a character and she's gonna be a little too complex, a little bit too strange, but mm -hmm. I'm I gotta say this is looking like a complete kit, man. Yeah, I kinda like it. I kinda vibe with it, I'm not gonna lie. Drop us back, bro. Wow. So the to find stand some animation? In. Jesus. Yo. Ooh, got we got a walk back check. Poison just taking away. That's so cheap, so goes away when she gets hit. We, we bust out. It's good. Yeah, it's never like a real reversal, so I have to use supers. Oh, yeah, okay. no you better get real familiar with these parries. Did not get fought. Maybe needs to go for like medium or light with that, uh, the claw. Either one hit to make a fall. You can't even throw out a bad fireball right here. Oh, he's gonna burn out. This is bad. Do anti right oh, there with the no. throw again. Shinakuma. Gonna get the win. That's unfortunate. All we needed one simple. Touch. He's money on that. He's been money on the new jumps. They've been paying off big in the corner. Nice job. Shinakuma scouting those out. And potentially on set point here over Elder Gusazaki. Although we've loved to see it. You got to earn these wins at Tampa Never Sleeps. Everybody's good. 100%. Everything is nasty, bro. I'm demons. Week after it's week. Poke. I like that. Use the walk on if you can't. If you don't believe like the uh, anti that the character has. Use just that walk speed to skate underneath. Very true. In the air tiers. Ooh. Dangerous situation. Burnout for Shinakuma. How do we get engaged here if you're Elder Goose? Oh, we let a Dingen charge get away. Is that a dolphin dive? Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Very hard to deal with. You have to go for like the eye. We have to charge the eye. We'll delete it. What's so we can delete it is all that health. Elder Goose putting a game on the board. Aki stocks are up, bro. The poison is hidden. Ooh, that lead. This character rocks. This character absolutely rocks. I'm feeling it because I, I think she's I think she's been extremely well thought out. Could you imagine a reversal on this character? I'm glad that she's not happening. Thank God. Like, the damage Thank that God. she can jump out is, is, is I'm wild. so her, shocked. But her normals, like, they're a little short. Like, say a medium is, like, further. Or what? Like, how can you kick? But those are whip punishment too, as well. So there's some danger to her whipping out these uh, whips. This is a rough range her, for her. Her, her beat is godlike too, by the way. I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm with this beat. Yes. Ooh, that's a struggle. Not good, man. If you're Aki, just getting blown up in the corner. Oh, when that kick hits, it hits so deep. Brutal, brutal outcome for Elder Juice. He's gonna be able to turn this around with his back against the wall. Eats another big fat bread and butter combo. This time we're gonna have a little Shinku. Mm -hmm. Actual Hadouken right there. Complete control for Hold Shinku right now. Ouch. Confirm pierce to face. 
Bought the point in this place. Nice and meaty with the donkey kick. One more sequence. He's gonna deal. He's got the level one. Oh no, drive it back. Stay in fierce with two active mics. Yo, we friend. got juggle combos. Drop it, bro. Oh, that was a perfectly timed sure you can from Shinakuma. Now we're almost out of burnout. These are going from bad to worse for Elder Goose Man. His drive drive meter is punished. Oh, shimmy. Dang. Of all things, the shimmy with the stand fierce to seal it. Shinakuma. Proving he doesn't need the Sasuke no Hado. Oh, and two in tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Not this time now. Not that's what's time. gonna happen to y'all, or if that's just some hater energy. I'm about both, so I, I, I vibe with it. I'm also about this name right here. Durag Sage coming up on the deck versus Ziggnet. Yeah, top tier matchup here. DJ versus Jury. Uh, these two characters kind of flirt in the top five area. The top five differentiates a lot, I think, depending on who you ask, but not by a ton. And these two characters stay pretty close in the conversation. They definitely do. You know, both have great tools. Uh, you know, for DJ, drive impactable buttons, maybe not the best. Just have like a low four confirm, but damage is fantastic when the bar is dumped out, great fireball, things like that. However, it's a wrap. Medium punch, brother. That's a good button for that character. Stand medium punch, up in the corner especially, plus on block. Really good on hit. Yeah, on paper, I could honestly see Jury kind of struggling in this matchup because she can't just... The whole thing about keeping her full screen is she can just stock up for free. You know, like if you're Marisa, that's why you have to advance. Nice drive rush into the combo uh, from DJ. But he should be able to get this projectile game engaged, right? I mean, there's a lot of options from DJ. There we go. Air slashers. That's what I like to see. Make things difficult. Make her approach. Nice four piece of four medium kick. Strike throw gets a throw right after. Drive rush in for the medium. Stack accept these buttons. Every swap to get that throw, that's gonna set up even more pressure. He actually woke up with life, but that's good night. It don't even matter. Durag Sage still press a little faster. One of the things I do like about this matchup with DJ is that he can run the jackknife uh, against if she tries to stock up too close. That's an option you can't do on block. He can just punish that easily with the jackknife. Mm -hmm. That's to watch out for. DJ is so diverse in his threats, in his kit. He's got great bait potential too now with a yo fifty dollars coming in from Papa, from Poppy. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Poppy. <laughs> you heard that, players? Get at it. Get after it. Extra cheddar DJ. dropping in the match, Reno. Yo, the Ziggler fans gotta gotta dig deep. All right, dig deep. It started so good. It started good. He was in control at first because he's able to close the distance and make it count. But as soon as that. Diversity and that dynamic gameplay from DJ Guy in the motion as all problems from there. Nice jump in. We trade. Yes, yes. Stay at that mid range. You do not want to get separated from DJ. Yes, good, yeah, good like kind of I do like them staying at mid range because they can anti her perfectly. The pinwheel actually really good against like knee drop. So that's an entry point that Durak cannot rely upon. He's getting these drive rushes in for a medium kick plus. Text a throw that may be data later on for Durak. He might go for like strike right after instead of like a throw. Like, has to be careful. Yeah, back in the corner against DJ. This is a nightmare scenario. Get that furry lead with so many buttons. And he's gonna attempt you to drive impact, but there's only a few buttons that you're gonna hit Pater on that. Nice jump out though. This is exactly what you need. Turn this, turn this around. How do you, it, man. Oh. That, that is so close to dead without being dead. And he survives and recovers the life. Finds another jump in combo. Let's please complete it. Please complete it. I want to see it. Got level one. Yo. Let's just get it done. And again, that's where the stocks are so important. You have these extra long combos. You have extra long conversions to seal the deal. Good stuff. Ziggler says not done yet. He saw the people up in the chat. So dig it deep. Dig Bad it deep. juicer combos. Love to see it. Big game from Ziglet. Getting that round when it was clutch. When you need to do. Back in the neutral though. Oh, counter hit button. You rack stage. Runs into the OD. That's all right. Look how low that drive rate, drive gauge is. Massive poke up from Ziglet. He's going to need a lot more of those though. Mm -hmm. A lot more as he pushes it getting closer, closer. That drive gauge is getting depleted and deleted right now. What's the jack dive? Take some setup. Turn out. This is battling for a drive impact at some point. Even the idea looking for a drive impact mm. might be dangerous. Tries to chase him down. Could end this with, like, if he finds, like, a decent sequence in the maybe, like, greatest assault bot with level one. Saves the bot for the next round. Ooh. Neutral jump catches the... Bro. Oh, here we go. Level two. Thanks, Way. Thanks, Way. Let's damage. go. Custom combos. We don't drop those. This is cool. I like seeing this. This is overall an underdeveloped part of, of Jerry's game plan still. 
a lot of players are working on it and bringing it into the fold and showing it more often. I think that was a flawless time to bring that out. We, we waited out all the burnout, had all the pressure that we needed to close DJ, and now we're starting game three off with a massive drive rush into a combo and corner control. Is this turning around, my man? Oh, I think it is. Ziggler was like, you know what? I gotta do the things that Jury's known for. Let me drive rush in. I talked to Jessica and he was like, bro, I wasn't dry brushing enough. I was doing too much neutral. I gotta go back to basics. And honestly, with her buttons, it makes sense. However, Ziggler is in burnout, and this can be bad as things get pushed to the corner. And do rags so have to work them there, because it could be drive impact. The Ziggler's back in business, could drive impact back, or parry if need be. Yeah, but look at it, man. He just gets out of burnout, and already two stocks, almost three, getting peppered off of the off of the gauge. The punish or the throw is going to keep this all moving in Durag Sage's favor. Nice trade. But we missed the air. Now we're going to die. Look, it is. are real hard for this character, bro. I'm telling you. You got to have that charge. If you don't, if you see them walking forward, that means they've lost a charge. All they can do is like, what, sweep, which is going to go underneath. But back heavy kick, which doesn't always work out. I like that where the Ziglet on set point. Yeah, Ziglet fans needed to rise up. I don't know what they did, but it's working. Another massive combo coming here. We're gonna choose to spin and activate. So two out of two times, when Ziglet's had the opportunity to start the engine, we get it. Rip it up. Gets the shimmy on the stamp fears. Obviously the button that for this character. Finds it overhead. You give me a punish counter throw. It'll be over, or a whip punish. Waiting for that stand heavy kick. Waited, faded. Ziglet. 2-0. over, sorry. Well, looks like oh, Raw Daddy Lamb is going up against Halo Chicken. What a name. Hello? Yeah, Halo Excuse Chicken. Excuse me? Yeah, Halo that's chicken. just a crazy name, man. Halo and Chicken. Uh, do those two things go together? <laughs> <laughs> Versus Raw Daddy Lamb. Uh, we did some Halo Chicken play before. And they're pretty cheeky. Very, very cheeky Dawson. Gonna look for a lot of tricks. A lot of DI, for sure. But, solid. I think as far as tech goes and setups and things like that halo chicken is complete so far raw daddy lamb put on the hurt though in burnout but a massive life life lead and it's getting into that danger territory where almost anything can put, ch put chicken away mm -hmm. fireball though we're gonna talk about raw daddy out here lamb doing some bits right now with these fireballs and also just staying in to get that way you know traversing along limbs of sim is difficult so i like to try to get as close as possible these jump heavy kicks the jump fierce Drive reverse to back him up a bit. Make him mm. waste some of that bar. I mm. like that from Raw Daddy. Yeah, good checks on the normal so far. Sandblast is one of the best projectiles in the game, especially the OD variant. Good juggle situation. We push them all the way back, and we get the punish counter. Once again, we're almost in burnout. Wake up super. Is this going to hit? No. Oh, easy throw. And avoids the actual follow two as well. No sun, Sara. No sun for him. Slides on in, doesn't get the fall. Immediately striking back. Punish count, it's a wrap. Level three, you know we're about to be. It's gonna be Memphis. No surprise. Not a bit. That's brutal. Dead. Barely alive. I that makes sense. I think we get pretty much punished with anything. We dash in. It's actually not a punish, but we'll take it. Raw Daddy Lamb goes up 1-0 over the sim. Halo Chicken. I think for Chicken Man, we just got to, you know, close the gaps a little bit. We've seen a lot of, like, good stuff from the Dawson, but there's, there's gaps. And Luke's just getting getting inside and making, like, the gaps like that. Big opportunity. It's, it's so hard. And this is the structure of your normal, your fireballs, things like that has to be more picture perfect. Now you've got the burnout side switch. Doesn't want the biggest punish. But this is good. You have that positional advantage. It goes for another drop impact again. Obviously, nothing he can really do except for maybe uh, one. Back row. This is bad up in the corner again. Slip not where you want to be. Double overhead. Triple overhead. He's roll dog in him. This all started on a whiff, drive rush, slide meaty from Dawson. Luke goes completely in control, finds a drive in back to put this away. We are on set point for Raw Daddy Lamb now. Halo Chicken's got to dig deep, find a way to stop this, slow the pace down, and get back into the control. Make him play the mini game, man. Mm -hmm. That's the whole oh. thing about Sim, but damn near the end, this is bad. Raw Daddy hits into green and kills so much of Halo Chicken's health. They're still caught up in the corner. They do have Bar at the bottom for reversal. They got to find the right time to shine, not with that. The throw on his counter. It's a wrap. Perfect KO. Raw Daddy Lamb. Yo. <laughs> So, that is a dub for the loot camp. Fourth there, I guess. Wasn't able to enter fast enough, so he can only do the dynamic. So he's out here at TNS as promised. 
No way my boy Kevin Malone Chili can play Rashid. What's the 19 1980 master rating? No, what? jump this character, bro. Jump this character, my boy. Who are they supposed to be playing? Bro, please play Ken or any better character. Ken? I can play it. Not that Rasheed's bad. Don't get it Ken twisted. Mirror? But he deserves to play Ken. Yikes. Boo this man, Chad. We got Rasheed versus Ken. This guy he can't be happy enough with one of his mains on the screen. All right. Well, Ken kind of doing work right now. So maybe he does need a little push up. Nah, we counter hit. We get separation. Let's get the Rasheed stuff going there. Mm -hmm. I remember Anchor Birds saying that this matchup isn't too bad for the side of uh, Rasheed, actually. Okay, right, I see that. Here we go. Warner pressure backs off for the. Yeah, of course. You saw it. The twisted. This is cheap. Yo, the low, and we get the juggle. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty good level, too. There's so many good level twos in this game. Alright, so back in the neutral. Here we go. Kevin Malone. Fantastic play. I'm not done yet, though. Jinrai. Back to oh, the he the right time. time. He's still recovering to get that. Nah, KP, that's crazy. Yeah, maybe she sucks. No, I'm just playing. It's the double <laughs> jump. It, the double jump's a little bit goofy. You gotta use it sparingly, but I like the attempt from Kevin. Ooh, with punish. Yes, we're pushing him all the way back in the court. Look, we, we just have the corner ourselves. Oh, how much fun out, though. Nice, nice, nice time to throw in the OD. Really the OD. Oh, we wake up, though. Against the overhead with the level three. I like the reversals. Like, they know they're going to for some plus range situations, and they stop that immediately. They know they want to take their turn. Stop that immediately. Punish. Looking good for Kit. Oh, I was just about to say, looking like he could get something started. Bahama seems to at least have a bead on when he can bust out on these options. Kind of proving some of the machine stuff so far is not to the real. Wow, an OD DP actually worked out for Rashi as an anti air. Call Gotcha Crew right now. <laughs> that was close. Those good space from Kevin. <laughs> getting beat up right now. Burnout. This is a massive opportunity. Can we get a side switch here? No, but we get massive separation. The level two is active. We're engaged. How do we wait this out? Exit at him. Dash in. Oh, really? Fate right there. And now punish. This is good. You at least got the corner position. And Eagle Spike does so much damage, it makes up for Yasar not really working out. Can he finish the job, though? Yeah, our level two is basically just getting ourselves out of burnout. So, in the end, it, it kind of works out. We're going to spin here. We have enough to do it. Rashid kick. Yes. One oh from your boy, Kevin. Quit hating. Round one. I'm up. Also trying to stay in the game. Double drive rush right there. Did that crouch fears follow up in the second part? Hella Oki. I'm sure that was Hella meeting with that gym ride, bro. That, yeah, that, that second part of the gym ride. Meet all the I was about to say, he's been doing a great job fighting when he's back in the corner. And he finds a jump out. Combo setting things up on Ken. The drive meter is already pressured. Ooh, parries are good. Nice timing from Hama. Back Ooh, and the back row. row. Meaty stand fierce. Is that a meaty oh, fireball? Meaty. Hello? I like the meaty stuff. You see, like, stand fierce, meaty fireball. Fantastic option for the side of Ken. Whip punish. Bro, have this on point with these. Backs away for the fadeaway. Stand fierce. The fall for the wind sword. Cass says, I need one more. Set point. I said there was a lot of good level twos in this game. There's a lot of good crashing medium kicks in this game. Uh, Rashid definitely won it. He enters into the competition of best crouching medium kick among the group of many, many other strong competitors. We bust out with the super, but no dice. Big, big combo here from Kevin. Pushing him all the way to the corner. Massive damage coming in and the level two setup. This could be it. Oh, just... I... I... You're a burnout. This is bad. Look for a reversal super. He gets one. Side switch gets it done. A little two tried to get the toe tap with the impact. Well, that's a wrap. Cap Bro, you Chili understood what to do. Okay, Cap, listen. All I wanted for him is better. I want better for Cap. <laughs> I was already in the match, Reno. Pretty much. Just Daddy Tong and our donators for already supporting. Get those toes locked in. We want to see that number climb and climb. And we got Ryu theme buff. Oh, no. Climb Zealand right now. I'm scared. The, the, the theme song buff is, is too... Too on the stream, ooh, ooh, and we hit our first D DP. Let's go. Almost See, dead even on the MR, bro. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, red punch against the sweep. Yeah, big damage Nero off of that. Thank you, Nero. That's a primer. 
You only get one of those, you drop it on the TS TNS channel, you couldn't agree more. I love that option, by the way, the dry rush day medium kick. It's zero on block, which means it's kind of weird on block, but it gives you massive extensions and another dry rush combo. So far, Johnny Donut hitting the money dry rush combo. I like this. He's a real good dog getting nah. Perry, we just blocked those, but that's still absolutely perfect. That had to be an input error. That's unfortunate. A big waste of bar. Spins through is close enough. Now finds the overhead. Stand medium punch on the course. A drive rush in the command grab right after. Two medals. You cannot afford to make mistakes against Manon. She's going to make you pay two medals on deck. And I like the buttons in neutral. She was doing a good job of checking reuse options there. Pretty good. Pretty good control from Zealand, but we put ourselves back in the corner. It's a massive L. We could really take this round, and we we got him scared on the anti airs. Nervous. After the overhead, the combo, or to, I'm sorry, the follow. What do you think, he It's the low brother in the level three. <laughs> Jonathan yeah, Donuts says, you. "Just all I want. All my donuts is nothing. I don't want no sprinkles. I don't want no frosting." <laughs> All I want is my donuts, all right? She had the donuts. I want the cheapest option you got for Duncan. <laughs> I'm good with it, don't worry. It's enough for me. How's Zealand gonna respond? This time we got the Manon to keep off, though. That's a pretty massive buff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that stand heavy kick coming through? Punish count? One of her best buttons, I feel Ooh, like. Twirl. Got to stay in that mid-range. Twirl no. actually working out. Back to puts him in the corner overhead. Flip out another overhead. He is blessing that dome like it's Sunday. That was, that was a good time to DI right there. It goes for the max damage option as well. Johnny Donuts pouring on the damage. This is going to be a juggle. Yes, do we have the medium kick? No, we don't. Check, though. I like that. We drop our combo. Does it even matter, my guy? Why not. Team burnout. But still do good. One health. Rep the it. level one rip, and that's it. Really did that. For any sort of gap, that's the thing is like if you see the bar at the bottom and they have no other way to fight back, you know what super is coming out. So just stack a step a little bit. Gotta respect it. Yeah, Manon players like that cheese and burnout, right? Where they tap you with the, the jab and the medium kind of over and over and over. More oh, infinite. Bit. Yeah, the, the infinite. So he definitely could have expected a super there. The drive rush combos have just been massive from Jonathan Donuts, man. He's getting money off the crouching medium kick. And he's he's spinning every single time. Oh, that was almost a massive lift punish too. Bro, this dude is playing up like a previous Street Fighter. He's crouching medium kicks into fireballs. All didn't go for the crouching medium kick that time after that. Ooh. Drive rush medium, but still one more sequence to get that kill. Here we go. Make the most of this. Heal him. No. Woke up with a crouching medium kick as the anti shimmy tool. Shin Hasho Geki. I'm not even gonna lie. He had the the dungeon stock, so there. The OD, Hashugeki giving the crumple. They everyone singing, you know, Evangelon themes and stuff like that together. We all the same, bro. It's, it's just funny, you know? Yeah. Jibeli got, got the best turn. So I'll just say. Anyways, Franks versus Lady Boredom. Lazy Boredom, excuse me. Uh, Marisa versus DJ. I actually think I actually think Marisa wins this. That might be kind of weird to say, but really? she does pretty well. Yeah, I do think so. I think she does really well against Guile and DJ. And uh, it, it's just the mid-range. Yeah, she, she has the, the disadvantage at full screen, but this this hurts, man. This command grab mix up is no joke. Oh, you be that. You be that. That target combo, not really real. Get the knockdown mm. charge on that buster. Yeah, Frank's got to exemplify some of them bust outs every so often. I'd like to see that DP come through. You got to you gotta let it. I know you would like to. You understand what I'm saying? You're more nervous to throw the DP than you've ever been in your life. But it doesn't matter because Lazy Borden is just hitting guts right now. Bread and butter after bread and butter. Hold that parry, trying to find some sort of option. Ooh. Only one is fist to face right now, the Gladius. It's one touch. Probably could do like two Gladiuses and get the kill, to be honest. Out of her now. They're not close to her, I should say. Okay. okay. Can he finish it? He's got the bar at the bottom. Oh my god, I'm so careful. Like, those fireballs get thrown out. I'm imagining like a Superman punch clipping him. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm ooh, telling you, it's not, it's not easy. DJ really has to be careful with his options in neutral, and that's not what he wants to do. He wants to paint a masterpiece. He wants to have the whole ass canvas, do whatever he wants, and, and make it annoying for the opponent. But Marisa kind of just like cuts out a lot of the chaff, you know? Like, some options just aren't viable because you might lose 60%.
And it's kind of the fear. It's like, because of her damage that she can output, you're just like, damn, I can't really do anything. Like, damn, it really be like that? Right there, like, I do feel like you can ODVP no matter what. You know, I, I believe on that target combo, it's always nice enough that you can let that loose. Correct. We're going for just preemptive parry, so. Nice juggle. The air target combo is super strong. We actually go for the full heavy target combo for Lurking Board. I'm not even sure if that was on purpose. And you better believe Franks is going to cash in on this. He finally gets corner control. He's got the life lead. This is all problems for Marisa right now. That's a big back throw, though. Here we go. The corner doesn't matter. Glad he is. No. What are you going? Dying on some dirt. Oh I like that the command grab. Drop a shin. Try to make a fake out right there. Maybe try to break to bait out an ODDP. But still, once up, punish counter into something else, we'll see the deal for both competitors. If you're not punishing Reese's command grab, you are told. You are, you, there's, there's something that has happened to you where your head is ringing and you're not seeing straight. You absolutely cannot let that go. She is just blowing your guts up right now. It's not looking too good right now. And then another command grab in the corner, finds the overhead after that site will walk up. Magna bust another cancel, another command grab, in a perfect to capitalize this set point. A lazy for definitely not lazy when it comes to being aggressive in this match. And I like it like that. I like the initiative from these Marisa players. Oh, here we go though. Frank starting off better. Level three massage parlor. From the back. Let me see it from the front. Yeah. Massage all parts. Nice and thorough. DJ stacking on the damage early in the life lead. We we have to close this out. Obviously, it's the pool section, so it's first two only. We do not have another game to give Marisa with a chance to go into level three. We don't take it. The overhead is plus. We're pressuring. DJ is backing up. Oh, he is scared. Oh, Trevor Sanfier starter. Fantastic thing to do. Maybe that's something that Frank's got to look out for. People who drive our Sanfiers when these fireballs really ran that target combo. Like, that's surprising. Mm -hmm. Is very minus. It's like minus eight, so you gotta be careful with that backhand. If they don't land, you're gonna be in some trouble. It's not over, bro. That level three can come through. That was good. That was good. Nice. Okay, we're in there. That was a scary situation. Definitely could have gone wrong for Franks, but we were clutched it out. We get on the board. One to one. Cancel, a crack kick with a low command grab again. Saw the parry, didn't go for like the throw. I like that. Go for the command grab, extra damage. Drive rush in for the grip. Mm. The corner finds the overhead. These stance cancels are nasty. I like lazy boredom with this very. Who gets two of the stance overhead chains in the same map? Lazy boredom is on to something. Punish counter, that's gonna do it. I, I gotta be honest, bro. <laughs> Someone said earlier in the chat. Marisa like punches your brain stem. I 100% feel that. Once you get long in the set with this character, it just starts to feel bad. Yeah, it really does. Gotta take advantage of the things that are given to you again. Target combo, that medium one is minus eight. So you can hit the OD, yeah, these people got that charge. Let that sucker rip, bro. That's a free punish. Can't do, I think she can only do like OD Gladius if she really wants to commit, but most don't. So let it rock. Don't go for the parry. Don't waste your bar. Put the parry back throw. Yeah, there we go. Put him in the corner, bro. Mercy players be getting those. If you are not a character with a reversal, you be getting a lot of perfect parries. The level two comes out. It's no good. All the punish stacking on here. This is, he drops it. Doesn't matter. I don't think so. Much, right? drop. Yeah, that's impact and a wrap just like that. Lazy boredom with that two one. Doing some absolute workout here with that Marissa. And again, Frank's gonna maybe OD up for Dawson sucks. Oh. It sucks, man. A uh, quick story, my buddy at CEO talked to me, he's a Dalsum player, went to go play some casual, sat down, played a jury, he picked Dalsum, and the guy went, oh, you played Dalsum? And immediately, counters picked him in casuals with Cammy. Uh, uh, so, he's like, bro, I'm not going to play this in, in a real match, I'm going to play this in casual. I, I get it, I get the sentiment of like, bro, I'm not, if I'm not going to play this in tournament, I'm not going to play this like, you know, <laughs> casuals. Uh, and so far, it's the, <laughs> says it's the wiener show, but uh, <laughs> never... <laughs> I still try to get these jump ins. Try to be very on point with the dive kicks. And that's honestly a really good option against the likes of Sim. You want to dive kick in. Thought you should get the punish counter. Fantastic, but not wrath. They're showing the wrath of Sim right now and not allowing that to happen. A lot of good sequencing, a lot of good fireballs. OD comments, aerial fireballs, things like that. Like, Weeder cannot get like a pinpoint on trying to find a way in. 
No, it was a good start, but Naraz shuts it down, puts the full Dawson kit on this place. It's a 1900 MR Dawson. That is not easy. That is a grind. That is an absolute grind. So you know they know their stuff. They are a Dawson player. You're going to have to bring good pun punishes, lab dancers. And so far, it's looking better. We got a uh, we got a life lead, a wiener life lead. Yeah. Let's see how big it is, though. I don't know. I don't know if you can keep this big lead. <laughs> I like that jab. Yeah, though. Competition. Light <laughs> competition is looking stiff for Icy Wiener. Nerat separating back into space, controlling the distance. The, the drive gauge also favoring Dalsum now. So pretty much any advantage that Wiener had has worked over there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Slipping out of conscious right now, and this is unfortunate. The Sansara to cook him up. This wiener is done. <laughs> <laughs> they should have never. Uh, Y'all should have never. Don't put your names up like this. Uh, this All right? This is your fault. This literally could Y'all be Ultra this. David. This, one, this actually, with Ultra David, the tags he picks, this could be his game. I don't Ultra. know. Yeah, we don't know. The Wrath put on we a clinic, know. though. If this is a bad matchup, so far you couldn't tell. These teams extremely prepared, doing their their best to close out these options. Keep Cammy, keep Wiener looking stiff, not moving anywhere, just sitting in place, getting bombarded, peppered. There's nothing you can do, man. Yeah, combos with a little limb. I'm fucking confirmed that it's not there. That's just not the Wiener we're typically uh, used to see. You know, it's unfortunate. But it's hard because Narth is just there's too many different looks. It's not a Narth. I'll find the low. I feel like this like that fireball oh. play with the normals. The layering is hard to get through right now. Get the man out here. Okay, we get the low confirm. We have the starter. We push Dawson to the corner. How do we lock this out? We don't. We, our wiener jumps and immediately Dawson slides out. Pressure. Meaty. Me. Super meaty. What was that? Did that hit her crouching? The up fireball? The low? The arc is pretty damn good. Finds a jump in. Finally, let's get in. The wiener locomotion to the corner we go. Really? Wiener okay for the side switch and the throw. We got a wiener hooligan out here. So far, not able to convert the win. OD. We'll do it. Nicely done. Wiener gets on the board. Nice little wake up reversal right there. Nice little wake up. Bust up from the side of IC Wiener. I like that little EVP. And I like them taking back these advantages and, and looking for these jump ins. Of course, her jump ins, even if you have good anti airs, are still like mix ups. Dive kick, jump fierce. What is it going to be? Protect. Dalsum gets some space, but we're moving into the corner. That's what we want. We whipped the DP, but it almost works out anyways. Nice presence of mind from Nera to switch it up. Oh, Boom! Like level two. That hits. It does. Sansara. Able to save the day for a little bit longer. Slaps Wiener away. Full screen. Oh, the dive kick for a dive kick. Nara says mine's better. That's rare. You don't normally see that, especially from the Dalsum. Oh, good cross up. He kind of lulled him to sleep there. Peppered him with, with options in neutral and then goes for the teleport. How do we close this out though? Any hit will do it. Nicely done. The drill. Narath on set point right here. Back to business. Back to basics with like the lowering it. Layer, like there are like fireballs, OD comment, things like that. And then you see him just like peppering the buttons to stand here. Killing the drive gauge too as well for the side of Wiener. Yeah, we're at the point. Yeah. We do not need this. The defense is not what we want. Wiener needs to push. He needs to find a way to get in, find his spot, find the exact right spot so that he can make Dawson sweat. So far, there's been no look, no concern. Zero. I'm just going to keep disrespecting you over and over. Stand jab. Dive kick in again. Give him that drive gauge. Drive impact. No more bar to work with. Dead. Yoga up and a slap Dead him away. Fan. This is bad. One good anti -air. And this is a, a bear and a burnout. Sim. If he gets in, it's over, bro. It's going to be so hard. And the jump in denies Wiener from moving through the bracket smoothly. Hey, good stuff. Uh, you know, I always love seeing Wiener come through. I mean, come on. Before top eight, come on. Love Let's you guys. do it. Can we get much higher? Right, Let me stop. Let's start this matchup. Jack, oh who made you really sort of <laughs> round start? All of these dances. Let's go. Man, you game it, baby. I like it. I mean, hey, get in there. Just be annoying. Be nasty. Try to make it awkward at the start. So now for Jack, he gets back into neutral. That trade works out. Perfect parry. Hello. And we get the right option. Good back, bro. All right. Up in the corner of the toe tag. The shins, but Jack gets in the crouch and kicks the Ooh. Parry. Oh, 
Ooh. perfect, perfect sound of Jewel Man. Would have caught on a button. Not for the pop. See, again, you're looking for the positional bank. It's not the damage. It's seen being caught from the court for that strike throw command grab. Tax the throw though, Jack does not get hit. And that fireball forced him to jump back and gets hit with a DP. Yeah, it was a pretty clutch mo moment from Jack there because he's starting to look rough. The level two in, in effect here. Jerry's level two has gotten a lot of shine today. Look at all that drive gauge, man. He pressured it the whole way down. Stamp Pierce with some Inferno. Yeah, drive rush in with the anti air Stamp Pierce of all choices to catch a jump back. That's a good button, bro. Oh, oh. now. Jewel Man stopped him from coming in. Goes oh. through in his face. Not allowed. Jewel Man giving me giant, I know, scare energy. Definitely just doing whatever he wants, controlling the pace, dictating the matchup. Nice headbutts, too. The headbutts have been absolute money. Oh, Shams, let's go. $20 coming in. That means we're just a couple bucks shy of the 100 piece. We've had a lot of big lifters tonight. Can someone tip us over? I would love to see it. Come on now. If I get a 100, that's a huge number right there. I Jack think that number. W, man. Yeah. He's trying. He's fighting back from another deficit. I would have thought that this would be pretty good for Jury. Jewel Man has been disrupting the pace so much that I feel like Jack hasn't been able to like actually play the matchup. But he finally lames one out and gets the round on the board. Nicely done. A little better there, Jack. Stocking up with that level two. That means for his extensions if he gets some of those full out combos. He dropped the throw, gets thrown for a struggle to Jack. Yeah, gotta be careful. Burnout is on the verge here, Drew Man. See a lot of fruit that carries here beside of Jack. Looking for like headbutts, maybe not comfortable against like the headbutt sequencing that Drew Man's putting out, but now he's comfortable with this neutral. The fireball right after keeping Ooh. it safe and solid. And he just headbutts again. He doesn't care. Ooh. Jack almost in the burnout now. So careful. That's not a punish counter, so we're still alive. He chooses to burn his own drive meter, cash it on the Yoshio throw. We just use our hands charge. Oh, in the corner. The knockdown finds a whip punish. This is bad. Missed that head button. This what? is just all he needs is to jump in. That's going to be the win. That's unfortunate. Did Jewel Man get an Ochio there? I thought I heard a voice line from Honda, which would have meant he went to the main grab in that situation. I'm not sure if it was a regular throw or not. But Jack is the perfect jumping combo, closes out the round. And man, Jewel Man I thought was kind of in control of that. So good, good response from Jack to adapt and slow things down. Ooh, hello. Crouch heavy points don't work out. Jackpot. Yeah, no. baby. Woo, 20 on there. She finished like the original drive rusher. Hakai can even get oil stacks and carry them between rounds. Listen, thank you for the 20, but no. Back. No. But absolutely all oiled up. Is that what you want? I need that. I need that. 100 <laughs> Hakan in this game. Jewel Man, by the way, just putting in a huge amount of work on Jury in the corner. It ends the combo with the Juggle Super. So, on the tech on deck. We missed the confirm on the second round. Doesn't matter. We had the OD headbutt ready. Yes, the DP is after. It's a throw. Notice Jewel Man's going to parry some the sequences. Start to call it out. Oh, just ran the OD. It has a fault because he had the heavy hand stock up. Oh, he's beating the snot out of him right now. Oh, he hit him with the... That was the, like the crappy version of the block. <laughs> Enough to make a fall, though. Yeah, it worked, Jewel man. Man. I was I feel fierce. Like Jack, Jack is the issue is he's, he's staying on the planet. So like 100%. those things are able to work out even easier. Like if you just sit on the ground in the same spot, empty headbutts like that are gonna work out even more so. Yep, empty headbutts, uh yeah, cross up, butt slams, all that stuff comes into effect whenever you are planted and you're not being dynamic, not moving around. A plus on that still, walks up, gets the throw. Uh, this could have been this could, honestly could have been 2-0 already for two. Oh, Shout out to Ellie Phil, dropping in the sub. We appreciate you. 12 months of support. I never sleep, guess what? Neither do I. I, I you feel know. you. Oh, man. Punish counter throw. Massive damage. And he's in burnout. And he's chopped. He's just to say, man, I got some of these perfect parries, bro. The normal parries are not doing work. The beat. What? 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 I'm That's shocked. Out. That is a combo. No way. Spin two bars. That's actually a massive L for Jewel Man because you really, really had that round in the pocket. You let it get over. Oh my God, Balthazar. Not only did you drop the 20 piece in for TNS, $50 from Balthazar landing 
in the match arena. We are at 150, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for the support. Love to see that number climb. Thank you so much. Appreciate all of you coming through. Perfect day, finally, Jack. Listening to the advice of his father. But can he finish the job? He's got bar at the bottom. Looking for that level three. That crouching kick sequence in the ceiling. He's got that cross stock up to his upper stitches. Yeah, he, he does. That. He doesn't even really want to try to go for no incentives and things like that. He's trying to get into him. Level three immediately. Jack on two games. Wait a minute. Hold what? on. We go into burnout, so this is still pretty crappy. If you're Jewel Man, easy chip out scenario for Jack. 2 1 lead now in the set. We are in the top 96 section, so we have an extra game to give. Jewel Man's gonna have to dig deep. Slow this down, man. Get it back into what he wants. Jack is getting a little bit better with his perfect carries and things like that. It's gonna be a little bit harder. Jack with better medium management, too, as well. Maybe in burnout. Perfect parry, back throw. There you go. Ooh, good check from Jewel Man, and he gets the reset to the OD Ocho. He's been willing to kind of flirt close to that burnout range to spend it on the OD Ocho, which just adds a ton of damage. Pretty big risk, but it's been paying off. Massive life lead for Honda. He could have been close to burnout. He's almost there. Very close. He kind of waited out. Oh, what a whip on this. Just one touch. Don't be obvious about it, but it's one head block. We'll see what trying to go for the OG to make it quicker. Stan Pierce will still get the kill. An idiot. Stay on set point. Jewel Man, shiny. Mmm. Good check from Jack. Nicely done. And we get the throw on the wake up OD option. Probably head by air throw and full effect. Jack is paying attention now. Jewel Man sneaks in a, a sunshine. Oh, juggle on deck. This is starting to look terrible for Jewel Man. Like, okay, see overhead, to seal the deal. This is even better for Jack. He's got that part at the bottom he hasn't really used. Level three could be able to get a lead or, you know, finish his play if need be. Tool Man does have level three. That bar exercise real quick. I might use it for his reversal because it's not mm. much reversal on the side of Honda. Air throw drops him down to the ground. The readiness here from Jack. The neutral has been super tense between these two. Once they get into that mid-range, they are just exchanging blows. Jack ain't burned out the first time now. Oh, rare instance for the side switch butt slam actually really hurts us. We almost lose the corner there. Back throw is good. Now we're pressuring. Air throw has been money. Jack is ready, and we jump the DI. Oh no, it started to get away from us, man. Brother. He avoided the headbutt, caught two of those butt slams. They didn't land, the air throw was there. Jack. Three, one. That was nasty. Jack completely turned that around from all that uncomfortableness, that stiffness that we saw in the first game. Know, what a tongue right in there. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. So what's, what's hard about this matchup? Talk to me about like what's difficult for you. Blade, Blade and Cross. And, uh, and just in general, it feels like Guile, like this right here, is so much better than Dingen, right? You gotta do all this stuff to get Dingen activated. And it's just much easier for Guile to get his better fireball online. And then once you get close, it just feels like his button presses are stronger. I like the way that Johnny Donuts is starting this off early though. He's just being patient. Checked it a couple times. He had the ability to. He's not overextending. He's been good with those those confirms. Yeah. That was a punish counter. Brother, that, that was a punish counter. Bro, I'm telling you. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up now. Oh, the jump they caught that crushing kick. You see, Jonathan Jonas, 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 I should say, go for that crushing kick a little too often. Oh, there's that uh, Sonic Cross we were talking about. Careful now. So he just walks him down, goes for the throw. Nice. Nice clutch from Cross. Son, I'm telling you. Is that he's walking, Where bro. are you good? Where are you good if you're Ryu? That's the, that's the answer that you have to find. Where are you good against Guile? Because at every distance, you feel challenged. And it's so difficult once you get in your own head and say, like, I don't want to commit to this. I don't want to commit to that. And suddenly, you feel like you have no options. You have to think about, like, like if he goes to, like, crouching, you have to be able to focus right back. It's difficult because you're worried about fireball and other normals, but that's one range. I feel like, like, kind of close. Like, right there, oh, you look for it, but wasn't able to get the sweep off the feet. That's unfortunate. Does get the ODDP to back him up. The break, but he says, wait, I'm not going to flash kick. For sure, the offense has to get engaged. 
right now do is just shutting it down and doing mega damage to that drive meter of Johnny Donuts. Look at it, it's all gone. This has been mostly from Fireball and String. No punish is even landing. What a challenge! And he's gonna go into Burnout Man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, not so good. That will do, it gets him, you know, in that nice little win condition. He's got a lot of gauge to spin. He'll just use it to get the win right here. All the bar necessary. One more hit, will be, no, just normal. No bar, but normal is fine. Jeez, the mini Sonic Boom, bro. He's so good about like clinging and like burnout and it being like two hits away. It sucks. It sucks. You, it feels like you're home. What is that? And I've never even had to deal with something so calculated as Knuckles do. Okay, we do get a DI against the button, or we can actually punish. Kyle does not have a cancel from the upside down kick. The, the drive rushes from Johnny Donuts have not been tight enough. He's getting poked out of these situations when they should be advantages for him. That's a critical call out from Knuckle Dude, and it's been the difference maker so far. It's been real good. Oh, oh no. Fears. Yeah, back it up. Maybe try to find that right range, like flash here, just like the jump here. Goes for that option. Zen. Covers so much distance. Now you're just smothered in the corner. You gotta be so careful. Look at that! Look at that! The pressure! Nice speed! And the right rage where it's like gonna be punished for like stand right punch. Oh god. Oh lordy jeez. Look at that, the bar gone. Round two. The health is gone. Enough to do it since on set point. He's so optimal. He just he knows he's in that kill range to spend all the drive game to get that win. And maybe not the donut sees more of these OD fireballs to cut through and get close enough to start the party. I'm not sure. I do think that the OD fireball is clutch, but you can't, it just economically, you cannot just use it that much, right? So you have to get it at the exact time. And then it's not like Ken, right? Where you get the drive rush and the combo, the corner carry and all those extra things. You just get an OD fireball. That's it. They fall over. And then Giles stands back up and you just feel like you're in the same situation. The DI is so meaty after the level two. Oh man, Cola, this is going to be a long one. He moves to the drive impact again. Continue. Nasty and you'll set out the bait. This is bad, bro. Look at that bar at the bottom. Look at that level one. It's not gonna get done. He's gonna get flash kick. I have to know. Too far out. No, no, deep, no. but still. The shimmy would stand like right kick. The shin kick of all things. Every single one of us, every single one of us, throw tag there. We all held on that shimmy after that big long combo. Nicely done from Knuckle Dude. Just sucking the life out of Jonathan Donuts right now. Good DR, but we didn't convert. No. Yikes. Right back. If you were at that level one, he would have put him in burnout, but yeah, upside down kick gets it done. Like we do knew what to do. He's saving that bar for the right moment for like the, uh, the kill combo, which we might be seeing right here. He may not even actually need it for me to kick start. So Mark Drive Rush, Boom, Root Sink. Perfect moves with extension. Get an extra amount of on it sort of advantage. Right. And this should be it. Finally, a level one to get it done. Let's leave nothing to chance. Knuckle down. Two. On set Unbelievably optimal. Just. That's that's the that is the name of the game for Knuckle D right now. We saw it at CEO Taku. We see it pretty damn near every week that he plays in. He uses the second DI just to punish the drive gauge even more. Okay, at least he answered back with the super. That's something if you're Johnny Dunn. You want to get a round on the board. You want to get a game on the board. It's oppression though. It's just oppressive. Yeah. That's a crush for his anti -air. Medium kick, impact. With the splat, once again, drive impact has helped him get the win. Oh, he didn't finish his combo off, oh, bro. Nah, I mean, he's got that level three. It's gonna be one hit level three to seal the deal. Drop the donut, show me go. something. Show me something. No. Drop impact, no, right back. Damn the actions. This man said, I need diaper money. I think that was, I think that was six straight rounds. I think it was two straight rounds. It felt and it still get them in, in level two. But anyways, we ain't gonna see none of that coming up in our next matchup. Doing? But this is gonna be exciting. <laughs> JV's Rishin versus Lycos Kimberly. Got a couple of 2K MR point boys on deck. Drop. Like a special right there. Mm. ODDP the Already. first out immediately. Yeah. Oh, it actually a hit off the windstorm right there. Puts it up in the corner. Dash it for crouching medium punch immediately. Look at that drive gauge, not so healthy. Yeah, 
Burnout is pretty bad this early into the game. At least we had offensive pressure there for a second. JB fights out though. Holding these tornadoes and burnout, that's gonna be horrible. And burnout against the shield is really bad. Just holding damn near everything, but Chip House real nasty as well. Go back though. But as soon as he woke up, he got that crouching new kick, and he's back in again. Put that burnout situation to get the win. He had a follow up. He's enough. I gotta be honest, I'm liking from Zyko's early the, the patience and the block string, but he's getting hit on the second chance. He's getting hit on the pokes into the DR, so he's getting caught out. This is our chance. Oh, he back throw out of the corner. Really? We check him with the spray can from that distance? That's so nice. Another raw punish counter throw. Hello? The kick, looking for a punish count. More button. Looking for like a meter kick. Nice one. Cancel check and challenge. Mixer puts him in the corner. Here's the throw. Okay. We could get a level two soon. Level two would be the ultimate closer when you're in burnout, when you're behind. Nice. Yo, he a fake. That? Oh. Ain't man. got a punish. Empty low. Reset off the drive impact. That should be a rapid charge up fireball. Still had more to take. He went for the OD. Die kick at BB. JB. Damn. Yeesh. If you can't zone this guy, like if you can't like put ob obstacles in front of him and make him sort of think on his approach, then he can really boulder roll over you in an instant. His damage is solid. His buttons are solid up close. It's it's anyering and, and neutral. They're kind of weak. Obviously the mixer is, is crap. Is he overhead? Much follow to well. He's overhead set up for that throw. JB's corner pressure is insane. Much like how it was in five. You see the same thing with their seed in six. And JB's pressure just in general. And these empty loads are in from EA Quinton with this pressure. Damn, the fake up the wind sword. I call that the South Ball special. We bust out. Thank God. We needed something. We needed a reversal of fortune here. And we finally get it at Recycled. And JB just doesn't care. He doesn't care. Level 2 is a fantastic choice after the OD reversal because we're low on drive gauge. We can slow things down. We could be annoying. That was crucial. That's a counter. big win. Yeah, I mean, Zyklos needed it, but that's a big win. Look out that part. That was wasted here for the side of Zyklos. JB's back in. He burned up their gauge. What do you do here? You only have that level 1. This is what we do. Stand meeting kick. Rep burn up. So you got to get in. Get aggressive with it. Get Bruh. in. Get out the OD DP. Game is showing. JB is strolling with these reversals, man. Finally, we don't get one. We get another empty jump low. Almost dead. Not quite sure. We'll do it. Nice. Nice. Don't cycle. Tying things up. One round piece in game two. Okay. Like, there's really more of the intentions of JB on wake up. He's like reversals and rebuttals. He's got some form. Bro, how many empty no. lows or drive rush crouching like kicks have we seen throughout this set? He just face checks it. He just face checks the tornado. And now it's gone. I don't think something. Away. Yeah, it's all handled. You know how like, they see like the explosions and stuff like that? Explosion gifts and stuff like that? Like the world's exploding, what would you do? It's all handled. It. It's like, careful man. You're losing too much health. Oh, we blocked the overhead, but it's still plus. We spent all of our drive gauge. Went into burnout ourselves for this offensive sequence. What did we get? Nothing. JB finds the perfect time to poke out with the jab. Converts. That was oh. scary. The overhead, good. Yeah. The cross here is unfortunate. Light in the back really? of the line. I don't think that combo. Really? It didn't. He didn't. Confirm it. Unfortunate. This time, I have to hold this win. Pressure. Yeah, the full charge buff, though. That's behind the tornado. How does it work? Okay, he's, he, he doesn't want to know either. Anier, good check. Cross fears. Why would she get the tornado after the tornado? Though? That's crazy. What a bait! Massive I don't know bait. what that was. Yeah, JB was looking to call something out, but nobody home. And we get the big, big fat combo follow up. Is this enough? Kimberly? No spray can. Damage. No spray can. I was going to say, if he didn't win that, I would have said Kimberly sucks with him. But since he did, Kimberly is amazing. And so is Cycles. Reading the intention of JB. Some mistakes here from JB. You gotta be careful with that the uh, heavy mix of sure going for it. Maybe like you said, looking for an anti-approach. Just nobody home, but still, good combo and good execution from the side like this to pick up these scraps. Uh, yeah, man, ties it up one to one. That's what I like to see. Competitive set so far. 
I was gonna I was gonna start to feel a little bit weird for Kimberly because it seems in neutral with the tornadoes and everything that, that she just has a little bit more options, you know? There's just more that he can do in that space. But Kimberly's offense cannot be slept on by anybody. Corner though. Not the best defense for kill. Tries to avoid the throw. Oh, that's a yeah. Dry brush. Gets a fantastic fall because of the fact that there's so much recovery. Overhead, Overhead and the combo. gets a fall too. Oh man, Michael. The mix on him. Crouching, medium punch. Anti works against Crouch or jump beat. That's the anti air that gets a lot of flack from, from the Rashid players. They are not believers. But even a trade is good enough there. Nicely done from JB. Timing the anti air. Level 2 is back. I think we're just going to see nothing but level 2s, man. Why wouldn't you? Exactly. I, like, level 3 is a good close up, but level 2 pushing the corner, makes cycles, waste that ball for driver burst. Oh. Finds a heavy mixer. Gotcha Kut smiling somewhere. Finally, the anti air works out. Nice with punish 2. Catches cycles. Tech throwing, or excuse me, teching in the ether. We're running the mix. We're running the loop. Yikes. How throw. Was in, man. Perfect KO. JB using that Yasar to take him far. That's up one game point for the side of JB. He's been out for quite a bit when it comes to that mix. Dude, new Bushin Ryu, but Rashid on that same old bullshit. Still the same power level he had in Street Fighter V. Opening up with the, the drive rush confirmed into the jab pressure. Things are looking bad. But really? We get away with that? Okay. The great stuff is like it was blocked, so like maybe seen yeah. that too often. I'm sure from playing Shine when he used to play Kimberly, and that's probably who you are. Think it over. Shine was only used to play Kimberly, and now he is Chun Li Mei. Dry rush overhead is good. That's money maker. Stacking on some damage. What's our Oki gonna be? Really? Oh, we see that cheeky. Oh yeah, try to do it to him again. Zygus wants to get nasty too as well. She jumps out of the corner and with two bars on deck and a massive lead in the drive gauge. You know things are about to get bad for Zyko. Oh. Pray for your man. Impact That's so hands. cheap. Yeah. That's that so is cheap. nasty. Eagle Spike. Not dead. Enough to kill. I wonder if you can get EX after that. Sure. Stop. Well, help me out. What if you get EX after that? But still. JD is one more here. stops him from coming in for free. Bro. Nah, JB on set point. You sure they ain't patch that that reversal? <laughs> no, 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 no. I saw my boy Gachiku saying, <laughs> "Oh my mixer." He said, "Nah, this." He said, "No, no, they ain't do nothing to it." Caught oh, the back. Oh, the late on the throw too as well. The wait for the defensive options to come through. JB is in his head at the back of his eyelids. Look at that. Oh, Calling okay. him on the low. Checking the tones at the end of those. Oh, the He's throw. cooking. He's absolutely cooking. There's. Oh man, there's almost nothing that Zyklos can do at this point. Such a huge advantage from JB and another level two. Can he withstand the entire thing? He goes into burnout, it doesn't matter. That's so cheap, so cheap. The execution from JB with the level twos in this set was perfect. We've seen it in TNS a hundred times over. Be interested to see if we see Zyklos later on in the tournament. But for now, we're getting into this Marisa versus Ken matchup. I love this music color, by the way. I'm a huge fan. This is the color that I've been playing under, again, Loki, as I've been reacquainting myself with the Muscle Mommy. Nice feeling ourselves out stage. The overhead's only minus three. Aiden Shredder gets poked out on the counter hit. This is a F tier theme, by the way, by the way. It's easy. The Home Depot? Yeah, it's, it's horrible. But you know what? It's not so horrible. They don't want Strider to play a lot of Ken on these things. Like, like Chris are Terry for a million years, so you're going to a different look if you're zealous. 5,000 with that god dang IQ right there. The Looking good. Like Looking, Looking real good. Really mm. That's it. The perfect on the likes of Strider. Damn. Hold on now. Zealous, I forgot there's, you're, you're up 5,000. He's on the power level 5,000. <laughs> I recognize. My Yo, bad. Power man, 5,000 stuff. The Evo winner, the drive rush jab has been shown in the game plan so far. If you're playing Ken, you absolutely need to be doing that. That is a Shoto staple in this game. The pressure from 801 Strider has been good. We go for the target combo into the counter hit. Okay, I see you. We're snapping some of these hits. Now puts him in front now. Strider aiming for that drive gauge. Drive gauge depleted means death. Get it. 
good drive impact. Yeah, looking mm -hmm. for that. Oh, Didn't get the splat too far out. Oh, Ooh. he's looking for it again, but Zealous off and out. See, you're too zealous for it, my boy. I think that was a little greedy, right? Like, you got to know your opponents in burnout that they're going to be expecting you to want to go for that. And 801 Shredder gets caught twice, reaching the bag. And Zella starts off with the win, man. 1 0 against 801 Strider, who I would say is one of the better Marisas. You know, definitely a top Marisa. Oh, wow. So I pick up the character within like a month and a half and do work. But Zella, bro, ain't no slouch out here. This vlog is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I like this skin. The driver slide punch is crushing with this. Mm -hmm. He's been slipping in every so often. It's offense hard to read. Baby, the corner. How's the defense? You have to spend drive rush meter for Marisa to keep pressure in the corner after your throws. Look at that punishment coming in on the drive gauge. We get caught going for an unsafe Rodrigo though. Eight to one Strider is paying big time. The corner carry on these Ken combos so far. We were just in the corner, man. We were on lockdown and now we got room to breathe. That's true. So distance with itself backs up a little bit. Bring up some of that drive gauge to build up. Okay, you'll take that trade. Closer and closer to the corner, but can you place him there? No back throw, just a normal forward throw. Drive gauge. Too preemptive with the gin rise. And that means drive impact. Round two. Lays on the big damage, closes out the round. Nicely done from 801 Strider. Getting on the board and getting an advantage. We have the round lead, and we're even on meter. We didn't have to spin any bar to do it. Good DI reaction from Zealous 5000. If you are on point, you can absolutely punish that. Well done. That's a okay, but it happen after it. It's a beautiful whip punch. Stan, you've already seen that option, so uh, I like that Stan Fierce to uh, finesse that. that in the corner, not so trying to open up. You see it also not trying to open up with that like, drive rush crouching light kick, but still gets gripped up. Oh, God, the gorilla can almost stick to you. <laughs> Down the command grab! Uh, <laughs> Ooh, tries no to way. dash up and get something. I'm not sure what it was going to be. Zealous 5000 fights out. He chooses to burn the level 3. I think you have to. If you're in burnout and you're this low, you want to fight for this game, you get the crit card, you go ahead and just let it rip. Bart the bottom hit with Strider. Yeah, he cannot let off the gas. A neutral jump oh, here. Uh, Chin right, DP. Backs up in right there. The jab, a dab will do. That's all he needed. You threw. Strider. He got kind of lucky. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it was a clutch round from Strider. Scrambles, baby. Yeah. But yes, those scrambles could have gone either way. Well done. 801 Strider closing it out. The Zealous 5000, I think, you know, probably coming in as not as the underdog, right, in this matchup, but looking really solid. It's also, I feel like I've heard that name before, but compared to like what Strider's done, five, four, and obviously six recently, you know, he's definitely no slouch. That's a safe, safe jump setup. player. It's gonna it's have so to hold this. She's got so many of those, especially off of like super mm -hmm. low drive impact, Strider. Damn, looking way different right now, call him Stranger. Lands a command grab. <laughs> Getting closer and closer at that game point, brother. Yeah, we need it, man. We need to fight back. It is 1 1 right now. 801 Strider to Zealous 5000. Ooh, we just get a jump out? Really? Oh, we whiff the reversal. That's so unfortunate. And the DI punish counter is good. That's a side switch. Right, gets the target combo on. Hit the knockdown with the sledgehammer. Ooh, the back he's in again with that stand medium kick. Yeah. He, like, he never gives up too much ground as long as he's right. got that stand medium kick. So I'm almost about to end this round. Can he do it? Just like one good Dragon Lash or DP or the trade again with the stand medium kick. Game to game, round to round. Not even game to game. Wait, it is game to game. Shredder had a game. Yeah, Wait, it is one to one right now. It is. Yeah. We don't have an update on the score counter yet, but it is one to one. Ooh, we get the far reaching punish counter. Stand heavy punch again. I got to be honest, as a former Marisa main, that button was so good. I bet it was. He had him. Oh, that level he three feels good, yeah. He would have been there. Really oh! Jackson, nice. No. Impact right back. It's greedy again. Jump, second flash. Level three wants to kill that drive gauge expeditiously. And I like that. Yeah, get that gauge down as much as possible. That means like Dragon Lash if you want to, but you gotta be careful. So the overhead. Nice and burnout. Zealous 5000 now out of burnout. Gets the pull up, crouching medium kick, but no follow up. 
Good challenge. Oh, Bruh. okay, kid. You need to find the level three. See, he's even buffering for that option. Mm -hmm. No, no it's way. Raging. Oh, I just got a heavy kick. Oof. We saw that earlier from 801 Strider. He had the heavy target combo plus range. He immediately tried to go into the medium target combo. This time, Zealous 5000 was ready. The stand roundhouse in neutral, giving him a massive punish, going up two to one in the top 96 winners right now versus 801 Strider. Yeah. I'm, I've got to be honest, I'm impressed with this kid. This has absolutely been a, a, a shock to me that he would play this matchup so well. The mid range has been fantastic. Same heavy kick, same medium kick. Mm -hmm. All these ranges were starting with like the press buttons. Like he just backs up and up where they work out. He has a command grab though. When Strider gets in though, he gets nasty. Yeah, Strider had the opportunities. He's got to close them out. He also wants that mid range, bro. He wants to play around that range where he can react to drive rush, to six man punch. Yeah, Marisa is very linear, honestly. She does have so many options that are like really, really strong in what they do. Gladius is one of them. But once you get past those, her death chart is not huge. So I like Zealous 5000 trying to to be the more dynamic player in neutral and keep those long range pokes out. There you go, another stuff. Well done. We have to get so many more of those though at this point. It right away. Massively, and he dunks it. Well, introducing that uh, super light punch has definitely been a tide burner. You can't use stand heavy kick, stand medium punch. It's not going to work out. Have to find a different button. Results might have to like anti air preemptively, dash up, counter hit, DP up in the corner now. And this is bad. Throw pressure is what Melissa falls to. Look at that airy command grab. It all gets scary. Just, just normal throws. You strike out though. Apparently, 801 Strider won can open that last night. That's impressive. Oh, yeah? That is That is really impressive. Well done, 801 Strider. Ooh, we get the counter hit, target combo. Trying to just press our opponent back to the corner. Another roundhouse in the neutral, finding a counter hit for Zealous. That has been a money button for him so far. Yeah. Throw. For the corner to turn this around. One hit to take him down. The man grab the fake out with a drive rush. Oh, she gets nah. impact. Oh. That's cheeky. Meaty DI. I don't think that was meaty. Compared to the other one. That one uh -huh. was much more disguised. It was at a great time to do it. Caught the opponent slipping. Zealous 5000 was not ready. That was a great time. Perfect time to DI. Yeah, real smart stuff right there. Ties it up. Zealous. Home Depot's back. Here we go. Back to aisle six with the fist. I like that. Jump out. Gets the back up punish counter too as well. Extra damage. Mm, the reversal. Can we get the jump in. Ken just pressing now. He said, nah, I'm tired of playing it slow. I'm tired of taking it easy. 801 try to recognize. Finds the perfect time to get the drive impact. Massive damage coming in here. Ooh, look at all that drive gauge punishment, man. Yeah, Zell's got to do something nice. Finds the entire right there. The stand heavy kick. When it's on time, preemptively it gets the Superman punch. It's pretty damn good. Ooh. Gotta be careful about whiffing it out. Light kick, there's a throw right after. Ready with the stand fierce. Flip out at kids. Also, it's like big flip out. You get like the crouching oh. kick for another drive to impact. It's a wrap. You cannot let those gin rise fly like that with depth. That's easy drive impact, and that's 801 Strider. That's that point. Beautiful. Great use of the level two there. That is one of Marisa's true reversals as well. She kind of has to hang on to her meter. Oh, and we get the punish on the wake up super. Things were going so well in the early games for Zealous 5000. Starting to fall apart here in the later round. Yikes, that command grab. So much damage. That was a fantastic game. To close it out for me to one Strider 3 to 2. As he was saying, like, no DP in the uh, Superman punch. Let's go, baby. Oh, Let's go, man. baby. Oh, oh man. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope this is the right. I hope that's what I'm thinking of. Really proud of has been doing a lot of work in these top eight spots. Complex no style cheated with the DJ play. Yo, look at those points from Noah. Clocking the 21-38 on Luke. That's crazy. Get an early drop combo. DJ responds and says, I'll take that. Thank you, sir. Leave some damage on the plate. I'll clean that up. I can hear the nasty talk to Noah the Prodigy. Bro, you 18 and you about to stay real nasty with it. Not only with these combos, but you stay in the complex. Mm. Every hit got something nasty behind mm. Oh yeah. Found the shimmy on him. Complex. Answer back. 
Mm. Yeah, and I'm the word of basic jab. I'm seeing the usual out of Noah. This is what he does. He plays like a jerk. He wants to be in your face. Press buttons, be annoying, and test you. What? That's the Ooh. DJ stuff. That's why I wanted to play this character. Yeah, he kind of cool. So confident for that anti right there. Had the jackknife on point, empty low. Fake out that just cool. That was counter that other than real bad damage. With the interest from Noah. Now offense, dry brushing in. Level three? No, chaser for the Oki. Throw. The economics on Luke's pressure are just so crazy. How well he spins drive meter. Look at that. Confirms into level three. It's gonna be a dead character. I feel like he was in that whole sequence for like a solid 10 seconds. Just controlling the play, controlling the pressure, pushing forward, cashes out at the perfect time and seals the game. Complex, fight back. Do not let him post another title on his Twitch. Talking mad mess. Mm. I like that though. We need we need more heat and fighting yeah. games. <laughs> all the keeper in the game, we all okay, baby. Cancel the throw. There you go. That puts no one burnout. One of the things I feel like no one does a lot more often is he plays in burnout. And I don't know if that's like a strategy or if he's just willing to risk all that far to get things going and it's believes in the, the pressure this character can put on without Ooh. burnout. Look at that. It's all innate offensive and defensive play. Yeah, unfortunate time for the first DI, but the second one, much better. We hit that pay dirt, we get the round, we have a round lead, and we have a meter lead. This is a massive advantage for Complex 90. How are we gonna convert? We need to tie this up with a one. Medium punch up, and after he finds a jump in with that jump fierce. Fireball, nice up in the corner. Brother, the recovery is still a okay to get that DP play. Oh, he just gets it. Jail. Ooh, the stand light kick. I love when players mix in the stand light kick. It's a dry rush game. It's so crispy to see in action, but no full conversion. Noah finds the scramble afterwards. Pushes complex all the way to the corner. One more would do it. Oh, he wins. Throw. But after a throw, he might get back. Okay. Can we get him in yellow? Right, he's going to rip it. This won't kill. We'll be close. One more decision after wake up. You drive us like four medium kick. Might be a wake up super with the side of Noah and a rebuttal. Level one super rush. is on the table. He's, yeah, meaty fireball, then drive us. So then I like that safe stop. Oh, what? So close to death. Anything will do it. Anything at all. No, he goes for the fake fireball and gets caught. Gotta respect the Sam Blast at that range, man. It's basically the best move in the game. Thank you, Sonderwolf, for the subscription. We appreciate you. Oh, three meter lead for Noah going into the final round of game two. That's scary, man. Yeah, that's cool. You're real good. Very uh, it. Didn't get enough off it. We'll get that crushing mini punch follow up. Oh, just let it rip. Wait, he's out. No anti air. No DP. No, he just let the jump wait. Out, man. Level three, Noah. Always in burnout, but you know what? Never out of options in that neutral. Saving the day, no one goes up on game point. Well, Complex, come on. Make, I want this to go to final game, final round. I want to see y'all scream. I want to see y'all get nasty like that. Come on. Man, I do want to see more games. I, I think this has been the Noah show a little bit so far. We can see some more out of the DJ. There were flashes in the pan. We saw they had a game plan, but we gotta put it together. We gotta string it together into a dub. Ooh! Mm -hmm. That's some good ideas every so often. Just be careful about what Noah has to take. Nice punish counter. I like that. Just cool. More of those. Now switching up. Finds a crouch for his punish counter. the corner disaster situation for complex 90 you're losing on drive meter the health bars are even we had so much success with the di before but this time noah was ready punishes in kind he's gonna be able to steal this off as he does we are in danger of going 3-0 right now for complex 90 we have to find an answer what is it going to be not sure complex gotta get some, uh, some offense going to fall in no perfect carry oh. there we go odp that's good. He's gonna punish some damage with Jack. Jump, heavy kick connects. I'm sure he wanted to drop rush back, heavy kick, but that jump in a little bit too blessed. If he wins that level three, no. there it is. I told you, if he wins that level three, oh, man. if he wins that level three, baby, that's a Noah nice. Prodigy special.
Complex 90 was frame one out of the lobby. <laughs> frame one out of the lobby. That was so smart. So calculated. The most reused in the country. So we're getting Cammy, Knuckle Deuce Cammy versus Brian D's Guile. I expect oppression. That's what Knuckle Deuce is going to want to bring. Look at 2200. 164. 22,000, my guy. That's crazy. That's 22,000 is so many points. From the side of Master, but the side of Knuckle Dude, he's on the diamonds though. He's still diamond with this. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't took her outside the battle lounge. Impact though, this is definitely more than a, a Master right here. This is a legend when it's a scammy camera. It's over. It's over. It's oh. Really over. It was over. He had, it. he had it. He had it. He had it. He's back. It's done. He's saying one more thing. Round two. I'm not done. The jump thing. I'm, I'm saying he looked so strong against Dubenheimer as CEO Taku. I'm not surprised that, that we have an early lead against Brian D. How's Brian going to slow this down? That was a punish counter? Oh, what? <laughs> Nasty with me. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, the trade. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, I guess he can do the uh, OD. So not bad. Oh, the sweep. He gets that. It's a small punish, though. At least we get the punish counter on the parry. Okay, we're in a life lead. This could evaporate in a moment, though. Really good. Upside down kick. I like that. Spin up this right back in. Oki off the, the uh, spiral arrow. Follow up. And Neo Jedi. Judai come up to the okay, but say anything right, bro, because uh, I guess you have some trolls, but I can't wait to see you back in the tournament, brother. Hope everything's good. This is good. Oh, God. Level three? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uncle Dude looking sharp early. Brian D was definitely fighting back big in the start of this round. He whiffs it. He whiffs it. Now this is all the opportunity in Brian's court. Plus this out, man. Nice Sonic Boom tiny timing. That, that's a lot of meter wasted on Knuckle Dude, and we get a win for Brian D. Dodge kick there. I was talking about that against the bottom upside down kick. A dodge kick, fantastic choice, but you're close enough. Mm. Can't Checks be obvious with the yeah, absolutely. The jumping game is crucial for both characters, but Kami can diversify her options so much in the air. Look at them just trading. Look at them just whipping button presses in front of each other in neutral. This is so fun. Cool. Be so careful. Stand heavy, get punished. Double dashes in. That knockdown situation. No real follow up, but you look at that knockdown and push to the corner. Oh, here we go. Gal and them Sonic Steppers. Watch out. Wipe off my shoes. Bad damage. Now Brian D in massive control all of a sudden. Do low on drive gauge, low on health. It just hits in the throw loop range. This sucks so bad for Brian D. Oop! He's got two meters. I don't know. This should be enough. Oh, you have to kill here. Yeah, I will. Finally, we see this super finally kill. Wow. First one wow. to knuckle do. Oh, this is a good pick. This is a good pick. He was right. He was spitting. Slop. Uh, I don't think Truly Brian D was going to make him think, but nah. He's definitely he's in control of the cannon right now. Backs him to the corner already. Trying to fight out with the Sobot. And the perfect parry. He goes into the punish counter. DI combo. Mass damage to the drive gauge. Brian D and down bad. What a back throw. That was so flat. Hold up, though. Hold up, though. Back to the crash first anti-air, the trade. You'll take that to keep them in the corner, whatever it takes, but not too much because you don't have that much health to play with any more transactions than the dive kick lands. You saw the crash and the kick come through, but the dive kick hit at that right angle. And that would be up a game and around. Let's so get the throw. So the throw loop situation is active. Good tech from Brian D. We need that. OD, Sonic Boom, even better. And we get the meaty. Good combo, even out the line bars. That was so cheeky. We didn't get the flash kick combo though. Careful that crouching meaty kick. I see it being blessed with the crouching kick and knuckle through. Or the dive kick too. Ooh, I think it's preemptive, so bots it upside down kicks to mm -hmm. check a challenge knuckle before he gets off the ground. Gal's button combos. They're just so they're so cute. The way he can counter hit and set up so many things. Now we'll do pressing. Yeah, they they just like they look like they shouldn't work because they're all so good at max range. You just constantly underestimate Kyle's range and how easy to connect folks together. Good punish counter. We spend it. I like it. 
enjoying this right now. Knuckle Dude with the walk down. And everything. I was gonna get like preemptively mm. and just like fireball, so. But he structure, but still gets hit with Sonic Boom and the thin heavy kick. But here we go. Drops him down with the target combo and the throw. They're dead even oh. on life right now. Even on meter. Drive gauge favoring Knuckle Dude. He Barely. At level three. <laughs> now Brian's ahead. This is so close. This is dead even. Good patience. No any air. We respect the dive kick. Surprising. Ooh, Ooh Bazooka Knee. Bazooka Knee. Uh oh. Yes. You're still going in. You can stop going in. That level three, you can't whip a throttle can a button. Nah. Are you, you kidding me? No way. That that was gold tactics. What? That was gold tactics. Went into the gold playbook for that one. Paid off big. 2-0 lead for Knuckle Dude right now against Brian D. Yikes. What did he think? I, I see the caution. He didn't get like he can like low profile that or maybe he's looking for a flash kick. Knuckle Dude. How about to get that dodge kick? Yo, scan the camera. Yeah, 100%. Scan right here. 100% Brian D is, is tilted, man. He's got to be after that. Yeah, I would be hella tilted. Ooh. Throw counter. Nice back dash from Brian D. We have to get space here. The anti air on deck for Knuckle Dude. He's just checking with these buttons in the corner. Trying to fight his way out. Get separation. We get a combo. Okay. Good juggle. Oh, nice I like that. Let's stand medium kick at that right distance. We talked about how you have to have those right anti airs perfectly spaced in this place to make sure they stay outside that race and get grasp the sonic booms. Punish count. Flash kick. Right back to business. Light drive gauge lead for Brian, but no, finally, we just get a big dive kick confirm. Knuckle do now at set point. There we go, Sonic Boom and the flash kick. The basic stuff right there. Oh no, hmm. thought there was a gap. Knuckle do waited and baited a little bit. So needy, he's ready. My man's got the million man reactions. Even on wake up. Burnout though, so close to burnout. Nice counter. He's been so on point with those. Good flash Wait. kick. Yeah, you delay it just a little bit to get that cross cut. Knuckle Dude's done a good job of building his drive gauge back up though. He's kind of climbing back into the green slowly but surely. Great flash kick reaction from Brian D. We gotta clutch this out, man. No. Try to find the anti. Oh no. With a part of bottom, he sets it rip. OD flash kick to stay in the game. Young men, bro. What did somebody say about young men? They don't know their, their own mortality? I like that. That was God. But still, Brian D. Gotta fight back. This is still set point here for Knuckle Dude. Diamond 3 came. He looking solid, man. Looking like he got the experience. It was shown at CEO Taku. It's competitive here in TNS on the Wednesday night. Brian D fighting back though says, I need a point. No way. Nobody 3 0s me, man. Give me something. No, there's a gap. He saw the spin and immediately let that level three rip. Knuckle do dumping out the damage. This is bad. Brian D. I'm sorry. Brian D dumping out the damage. I got mixed for a second. Damn, that was sick. But Brian D dumps it out. It's been oh, on. no way. He's not dead, is he? No, he's alive. He's alive. He has to be cool. I'm not ready for this to be over yet. He's still alive. I I think it's over. He's alive. He's alive. alive. No. It's over. No. Dude, I feel like Brian D was so close so many times to get into that set. But Knuckle D takes it. 3-0. Showing that he even hits. Let's get it. Ken versus Ken. Let's go. Um, Ariel did also, I just remembered this, shout out to the couch stream for the, uh, for the Just Frame tournament from Mexico that we just did not too long ago. We did the English stream. Ariel got fourth in that tournament. So, well done, Ariel. Showing the, showing the blood in the offline as well. All Chris to start things off, however, just immediately pushes Ariel into the corner, wearing the blue gi against Ariel's green gi. Oh! Wow! Bro, raw DP too as well, not even OD. Usually it's OD, but hold on now. We got him right back up in the corner. Get that Green Ranger fit with it. The minty gum. The minty gum. I like this king color. I like I like the blue as well. Looking good on both sides. Good, perfect parry. 
Chris is looking ready. He's looking really ready. Okay. Oh, we get a punish now and the side switch. Are you paying attention? Keeping it optimal. Nicely done. Impact. It's a meaty. Can you kill him? With two meters? Yes. Four bar, level two. Worth. Should be enough, yeah. Super worth. worth. Yeah. It's a Oreo. Always staying off. That was nasty. Oh, this is loser side, man. I didn't even recognize. I wonder who put Chris oh. down. Oh, damn. I'm gonna do some uh, bracket research real quick. I gotta know. Corner to throw. Chris, nice with the back dash. It's just the really the Oriole to like find ways out, right? Mm -hmm. Back dash with weakest of throws and things like that. Side with the dragon left. Optimization. Oh, here we go. Level three. Look at that gauge. One of the coolest looking level threes in this game, for sure. Nice confirm. Chris in a massive lead at this point, but we can't let it get away from us. Still some explosive potential left in Ariel. Nice with punish. The stand light kick with punish game. I love to see it. Great option. Very calculated by Chris. Chris used to be like one of the best stand jabbers in the business when it came to lose. Now it's like stand light kick. Like, I feel like one of his favorite buttons to use. It's a good butt for Kit. Finds the overhead. Gets the follow up. Jin Rai DP in there right there. Overhead again. It's time to block though for Chris. Good back throw. That's a huge reversal in a game where you were down on line, down on drive meter. Get your opponent in the corner and you get the punish counter. Way to pay attention. That's funny that Uriel gets that escape there because I actually think of Chris the most when I see that OD Tatsu escape in the corner from the corner. That's true. Uriel though, very uh, movement based. I feel like for the other kins, always, always moving, never one spot. Always with something so active. Trade DP was so ready to take that trade. Honestly, not a bad one. Driver's throw doubling down with that same option. <laughs> Throwing him out. Goes into burnout. Bad situation potentially ahead for Ariel. Great juggle. But we get the miss. It's dead. Level three. Critical R. It's going to be close. Down and shut up. Not dead yet. Alive. Peppers in with the Hadouken. Chris in burnout, so he has to worry about all of this. That was a perfect checkmate decision on the neutral jump. Nice punish from Ariel going up 1 0 against Chris. Very smart stuff, like make him like go for that jump because you don't want to deal with that chip. So driver scratch for this. Ball. Nice DP again. Mm. Chris using that heavy to get to the fireball in that right range where if he's, you know, if he's in the range, he goes for the DP. If not, he goes for that perfect parry and now finds an anti right there. He cannot jump in on this guy. No fly zone, man. The reactions from Chris so far have been extremely on point. We get the counter hit stand roundhouse, but no follow up. And Ariel finds the perfect time to fight out. Ooh, he gets checked. Good jab, but no cut, no cancel. Surprise. The follow up combos are so good. He actually gets the jab and goes for the throw. He didn't believe. It matters. Dang, Chris. Scrambling. King right now. Stays all like, okay, with the throw. I still got this back throw though, or a jab right after. So ready. And bro, drive rush, jab, throw. Chris is Tokido style. Nah, it's the Chris is the Ooh, juggle. Good job. And the air was solid, and we get the Hadoken meaty. Look at him just feeling each other out with buttons. Uriel immediately says, go ahead and hold this stand roundhouse, man. You want to whip me in neutral? I'll take all this advantage. And in the corner, he resets him. Cola, that's so cheap. Oh. I kill that drive gauge. Drive impact. In my oh, yeah. So smart to kill that drive gauge. And now it's time to kill the character. Level three immediately. Scummy. Coming at you. Scummy. That was scummy. Ariel was looking for all the opportunities to reset. That looked like some KOF shit, straight up. When they, they go for those wild resets for no reason, I got the TOs in the top 16 of KOF. And man, they're just resetting all over the place. Ariel had him dialed in on the corner pressure. Chris fighting back and spins at level two. So we get, you know, some good drive pressure. Oh, big win. Yeah, I like that shimmy. Finesse and bless. We had a sweep for a sweep, both of them. Not cleaning each other up. Not fighting sweeps. Not getting knockdowns. Back to neutral. Oh, Yo, it's over time. With the gin or the dragon lash. Oh, it's right. Overhead. 
close right now. Great low Cancel. from Uriel. He does it again! He's so nasty. So slick with it. Quick with it. The DI! Every so often just snuck in. Uriel. Uh this feels like an evolution of the DI game a little bit. I like to see this. Not only are we using DIs in our combos already to do extra drive damage, but we're seeing the resets and how how tilting they've been for Chris. I feel like this has been such a competitive set, but it's a 2-0 lead for Uriel right now. Brother. Wild ass play. Honestly, I like to see this. Might be somebody implement my game. I ain't going front. Oh, good, man. Oh, good punish, nice punish. though. Yeah, at the right range from the crouching my punch to reach. I feel like it was a little early for Uriel to go for that option, and Chris made him pay for it. And now we have to push him towards the corner. Great whip punish. That stand roundhouse has been so so implemental for Uriel in this offense. Now Chris is finally finding his spot, finding his rhythm. Great round from Chris. Right. That's the ball. After those whip these pieces for the enhanced Tatsu, that's optimal. Optimal stuff for Uriel. Sorry, Chris. Uriel, though. Has been very optimal on his own. Like that was like something Ooh. that Oriel had done previously. Beautiful anti-air to throw. Chris is stabilizing things. Chris's anti-airs have been on point since the start. That's that's something that has not changed. Even though he's down 0-2, that was a punish counter. He gets over the Hadoken at exactly the right time, and the side switch combo is in effect. Ooh, this could be really bad, man. Dragon Lash gets the tick throw. Back dash is out of the loop. Luckily, doesn't give it to anything, but Crystal finds a way out of there. Level to put him in there. That's one option. Back up no. punish, counter stand, medium kick. Even better of an option, it finds a finesse and bless the shimmy to put him to rest against the throw. We did it. We got the win on the board. Chris responds, finally adapts, gets his win. 2 1 now. Chris fighting back, still has his back against the wall. It's Ariel's chance to adapt now. Damn! What if I should have set crouching movement? Was that sweet? What's Chris's escape option? Can't find a back throw. There it Can't is. Can't stop to. He stops the drive rush too. A lot of respect coming in the neutral now. You know Ariel's worried about those DP rips in the fireball game. The fireball game that was so jarring from Chris earlier in the set. You can tell it's playing out now. Good check. Good okay, punish. That's the same heavy kick. It's that option a little too often. We've seen Chris have a punch it with like drive rush medium. Now finds the crouch with the kick and now finds all these throws, bro. The train, you'll take that. You have more enough health for that transaction. Chris is, uh... Again, stabilizing things. Been scrambling up the scramble. Stabilizing is a good word. I do feel like he's finally getting his footing and finally finding his rhythm in the set. Looking pretty strong. Ariel's trying to tilt him again. Be aggressive. Oh, I, no, this is it. This is that respect that we saw in the last round. Because Chris's reactions have been so on point, but he finds the jump in. Wake up, super. That's a side switcher. Big opportunity for Chris. Yo, even bigger from Ariel. The OD Hadoken too strong. But he's buffering something. The only fun I get the OD DPs against that fireball, but only fun you like that. Trying to jump in. Chris is already out of there. Enhanced time too. Frame kill. Run up, throw. Stand fierce. Flip out. Still caught him counter hit. That's it. The crazy fact that he actually got him after that flip out. Caught Oriole. Pressing a button was a little bit faster on the draw. And now we fall the game point all plays. Mm -hmm. Close set. This is when the fatigue starts sitting in, especially in a mirror match. There's so many annoying things that you have to deal with. And especially when you go from a 2-0 lead and let it creep up like this, you really start to feel it here in top 96 loser side. Which player? Oh, he's so on the money with that. This is strange. What is that cola? Bro, I don't know how he is so aware. Look at those DPs to the firewall. I, he's just ready for damage and everything. Again, he's the stabilization mask. Yes. No this tilt. Is looking, yeah, this is looking like he never was in a bad spot. He's playing the matchup so well. Ariel just starting to slow down a little bit. Actually walks into that Hadoken. Very gauge to focus on the fireballs. Gets jumped in on. He's been getting the, the jump-ins. 
drive reversal. He does like that option. He told me he likes to go for that option more than other kids. Has to be careful because now it's, yeah, consistent with Dragon Lash. Finds the opener right here. Brother, no way that bait came through. And the drive in back too. Nah, Uriel on the tings right now. Uncancel, you're dead. No part necessary. Uriel's DI game has been the difference maker for him. For sure. That's that's everything that got him to this 2-0 lead originally. And now here coming in clutch and the final game, or the final rounds of game five. Can he find one more, one more opportunity to close Chris out? It's loser's side, so the loser does exit this tournament. Good reversal again. I think that's a fine use. Drive reversal back him up a bit. The carry on the fireball. I like that. You need to keep that gauge up as much as possible Ouch. to make the magic happen. Jin Rai, drive reversal champion is right after. There's a light kick bumper. Oh, we'll take it a page out of Chris's book. Hold up now. That was crazy. He just went for that. That was a confirm from the heart if I've ever seen one. Cool no any air. No jumping. Oh, you see the counter? That had have been a DD. Hey, Chris, we'll take advantage. Put that level two. Good escape. If Uriel can land a hit, he has the three stocks. He can actually do this. The Tatsu misses. Are you kidding me? But he drops the combo. He still gets a Dragon Lash. Oh, that's that ass. Immediately level three. Ah, oh, yeah. Uriel. Again, crazy the, the scrambles are where he wins. That's his jungle. Well said. Well said. A player that likes to get things nasty, likes to get things mean, put you in the mud, get you in deep water, and, and make you a... All right. The top eight spot. After this one, we'll uh, think we're going to talk about. But right now, we're going to talk about Noah versus Nephew. This is our first time seeing Nephew tonight. Back on the JP. Remember, you scolded Nephew for playing the JP before. Shout out to Bork the Force. Bork the First, excuse me. Coming in with the subscription. We appreciate that. Yeah. I did scold Nephew, but you can play any damn your character he wants as long as he puts his mind to it. And Wolf comes through, I see. Appreciate this. The primers, guys. You only get one. Such a great place to park it here on TNS. We appreciate that so much. Nice anti-air from Nephew. That's essential in the JP game plan. Game plan. It's one of his best buttons. One of the most consistent. If someone is jumping at you, you better be punishing it and shutting down that angle. Ooh, good whiff hey, punish, wow. though, from Noah. Yeah. Hello? You don't see that typically. And maybe that four momentum with that stay light punch is one way to play against that button that's kind of hard to deal with. Not going to lie. Back to put him in the corner, bro. Liza JP is actually That's, That's funny. Fire. That's goofy. Noah, all power in the first round, though. Just dumping damage in on Nephew. Takes an early round lead for the first match. Top eight winners. Ooh. Big punish counter from JP, though. You already know this is going to be. What? Huh? Was that supposed to drop there? Hello? Oh, so. Huh? Got look kind of funky. Unfortunately, back up a little too often, that crouching knee kick. No one. Now back up in the corner. Observing the neutral is Nephi with the pierce. No anti right there. This is a punish gonna come through. Nice throw. I get it started. We missed the drive rush though. It doesn't matter. The second one is good enough. Full confirm into the level three. That's gonna take our first game. No other prodigy will be solid to start top eight. So now, does Nephew stick or does he stick with it? Okay. Honestly, Nephew. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's not, I, I, this might be a. He doesn't have the time with JP, like the time that Noah, the project has had with Luke. So he may stick it out. He may go with the. Yeah, nah, sure, yeah. We got it. He's like, yeah, all right. He's all right. Yeah, yeah. You got me. You got me. You got me, Saint. You got me. Because we I, saw. I think, I think it, his JP could be good. He just needs time with it, right? He just needs time to understand that matchup, you know? Facts. Yeah, and we've seen, like, I think, modern Chun-Li from Nephew once before as well. This is the bread and butter character for Nephew, however. 2,100 MR points clocked in. Nicely done from, from Nephew on the grind. Can he grind out here in this matchup? Ready for Luke. Back throw, Back nice. throw. The throw drops him down to the ground. Nice interruption right there. Counter hit. Counter hit. Counter hit. Counter hit. Counter hit. Counter hit. 
know what? Damn near a burn out. Nephew trying to make something happen off of that. Stocks up. Carry, throws some far back up off the backboard. Misses the driver on Spears. That's unfortunate. Yeah, incredibly fortunate if your nephew that Noah drops that combo. You know, loot players are usually automatic with that. Goes into burnout. The cross cut kicks, man. That is such a good advantage for Jerry's reversal. Nicely done. Nephew getting an early first round here. Yeah, this is the nephew we like to see right here. One more stabilized. Hope the bear he's in. Grassy with that medium. Plus, but you don't get the advantage like mm. on hit or on block, I should say. Let's see driver with it. And in the corner, but still good the bump with. Nice parry on the sandblast. Trying to keep the frames unpredictable. Trying to save your drive meter. Nice challenge as well. Nephew paying really well attention as Noah just goes ahead and whiffs on the OD reversal. We get the Feng Shui engine active. All this corner carry and the save shot. Damn! Yikes! We get pressure. Now it's deep so with cheap. the follow up. You can have a follow up after that jump in, but you nice. would typically have. And Noah was not ready for it. That is what it was. The fact that you get the custom armor follow up after that button. This is why people need to learn how to use level two, bro. I feel like level two is pivotal in playing jury. I ain't seen that before. That's a first for me. I ain't seen that <laughs> at all. That seems pretty cheap. A double overhead in Street Fighter 6. What are you smoking, jury? Noah gonna try to fight back now in game three. The switch has definitely paid off for nephew early. Looking good in the first round as well. What is Noah gonna do to slow her down, man? I don't know. Oh, it's brother. a back jump with the DP. That's a throw, though. Nephew has him caught in the corner. He gets to that medium. Not making the most out of these uh, confirms and things like that. He's leaving some stuff on the table. He definitely wasn't in earlier games. Could be nerves, could be tilt, could be fatigue. Who knows? Noah got to shake it off, though. He got to find his opportunity. Nice OD reversal. He blocks the, the boy, and then Nephew just responds. Let's confirm. That's going to do it with the level one super. No, he's still barely alive. But the faint against the throw the shimmy, though. Nephew now the one up around. That's so fast. He doesn't know he's not able to get anything started off these drive first situations. Fireballs are kind of helping out now. Here we go. The crouch is to confirm. It's him in the corner. It's oh, reaching. No, counter. That stand heavy for bro. Oh, we just fight back and oh look, Noah's in burnout again. He just doesn't care. Nice anti air that was ready. Nephew underneath and get in the DP. We throw out of the DI that was so clutch, so smart from Noah. And the wake up level one super that's gonna do it, tying things up. Damn, gotta know that he was gonna go for that super. What else can he do? Yeah. You know level two is gonna be pop, you're gonna drop because it's a hell of plus the deal with right after, and then you have to deal with these custom combos. You have to hold that. Game to game round to round. Damn, the DP pop after the medium tech's a throw though. Noah tech it for his goddamn life, bro. See another tech! Mm -hmm. I like the DR after the, the perfect parry fireball though. That's a cheeky option to bring in against fireballs. Nephew with all the offense right now, the throw loops were engaged, but Noah finds his way out. Back throw, yikes. With, no. and he goes right into it. Sometimes it feels like this, like this is okay to like go into close to burnout because you're gonna build your bar back up. Yeah, get your green. Come in the corner. Doesn't really matter too much. Really? Beautiful walk. -up. Nice minute walk under. Really? Look at this. The bar at the bottom level three is about to see. All feet, all day. That was impressive. The foot clan. Foot clan? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That was, that was, seriously though, that was massively clutch, that micro walk under and uh, getting the, the reversal kicks because that kept, that windmill kept him in the corner. That, that was so nasty. Coming at you, nice drive rush, getting things started. Oh, he just whizzed, but no conversion. They're just drive rushing at each other at this point. They don't care. They really are. Look at it, yeah, <laughs> back and like forth. That. But Nevi's keeping his bar a little bit more often, I feel like. Couple parries and things like that. Now Noah's at burnout. Back though, may not matter if he can keep him off in the corner. He's even back in to make sure that he doesn't jump out. Option that's too wild. Level one will put him right back in the corner, I like that. Covering a lot of nooch. Good DI, just barely too late though. Fights out with the sandblast. Luke checking. 
gets out of burnout and puts nephew into burnout herself disaster situation unless you get a fat whip on it decides to go ahead and spin the level one super how do you feel about that terrible i guess you know what risky it's risky but he might get, like he might get jump chipped out one good jump in now answer back soon it's all buns it's all level but nephew recovers in time he stays fine he finds a punish you lucky son of a gun. Yes. No one tried to go for that super to try to get that dip, no dip, but Nephew brings it back with that bar. It's just a little bit too Brother, late. Brother, the drive rush in. <laughs> yeah, they're drive rush. This cat is on it. Their green dash finally, finally evaded OD reversal from Noah, and he gets a big punish, pushes Jury all the way towards the corner, and builds all that separation for himself. Chaining on button. That's that move. That move is so fun looking. One more hit to level three, bro. It might be over. A good draw rush sequence, you know? You can stick that in. Uh, we're in burnout from Nephew's side. We go ahead and go into the level three. Not gonna be killed by any means, but it will help him catch up in the drive game a little bit. Wait, is he dead? No, stop. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Yo! Oh, yeah, the chip out. Cheetos, Doritos, and Fritos, take your pick. Nephew, with the chip, moves on with the character he should have moved on with. This is JB's character, you know, this is his comfort zone. And uh, let's see what we can do against uh, Knuckle Deuce Gown. I'm curious because I feel like this is a matchup that is so fun for Rasheed. But you have to, yeah, you have to use OD fireballs to get through. Your normal fireballs are not going to work out against the variance that Kyle presents. Air to air right there. The jump you don't have to go for a flash kick. Because if it went, you would have been pain for a. Oh, another one. Mm. Look at him sitting him down back, doing what Kyle's supposed to do. That was a snipe from JB. The Rasheed players love that slide. It's such a cute option. Let him get in, though. That's when the likes of Rashid is cooking. Apron on. Ooh. Finds a fireball. Uses that to advance in. Stan Pierce. Backs up. No heavy punch. Did not even want to have to go for like the heavy punch uh, DP. It's just hard. That's definitely the, the weakness that most people have discussed with Rashid's game is those and years. Super back and forth to start things off. JB thought he had enough resources to punish. The counter DI, but no, he did not. Goes into the drive rush, gets punished. The couple will do it. Knuckle Dude takes the first round. Backs away from that throw play. Stan Pierce puts him in the corner. Look at this fight. A lot of corner carry on that sucker. Mm -hmm. Knuckle Dude seeing up the Sonic Boons. It's so hard to have to like, read like, the rhythm of the Sonic Boons for these normals too as well. Especially when she walks in against the throw. Immediately, he saw the boost up and got that grip. No! I don't know why JP woke up with a level three that had to put an input error. He'll pay. With damn near his life. And all the drive games. Huge conversion from Knuckle Dew. Cashing out on the level three. Putting JB in a disastrous situation. He was ready for the double jump. My, my, my. Sonic Boom puts it away. First game goes to Knuckle Dew in dominant style. What you expect, right? If Knuckle Dew locking down. Yeah, yeah Gal could do that, but it's Knuckle Dew. It's neutral though. Mm -hmm. JP walks courageously with that crouching kick, gets that drive rush in from the corner, looking for that same heavy kick to catch something, anything. Oh, nice check from JB though, saying, I'm not falling asleep. I'm not asleep at the wheel, man. I'm paying attention. Two fights out in time. People are saying, like, you know, Rashid maybe a little bit to the gimmicky side. He kind of is, you know. Maybe not as good as it was in five, but his corner pressure, it all makes up for it. He's got to be able to get him there. That's not really happened consistently. JP, yeah, now in burnout. It's bad. Flash can go. Gets that? He gets that jump. You and I are both shocked. And the offensive pressure. JP turning this lucky situation into a string of offense and almost out of burnout. And Mr. Crosshair's almost got it. The whip for the second time. JP will take that to the bank, bro. Yeah, well, when Rashid gets close, man, that's a that's, that's feels bad. Yeah. Okay, getting another confirm in. Are you kidding me? The level two on deck. So now we're in control. 
How do we close this out? We get the whip on the Jimmy. Nicely done. The juggles. Look how much damage this does, man. An OD. Heavy what is that? Sure. In a throw. Cancel this. Say you're down and out. Well, we're down and out. Bracket, bro. Almost so fast. JB. JB. Again, this is where you stop feeling so terrible. When that level two right. start coming through, you start being like, hold on. What are you doing, Capcom? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the level two is gimmick, be all right. Oh, it's gimmick. It's, it's like 10 gimmicks wrapped in one. Yeah, it's super real. <laughs> super real. Nice hop normal from JB using the whole kit with Rasheed right now, put peppering in all kinds of nice button presses. Good punish as well. Catches dude with and he just stands up and gets a combo though. Gotta be able to stay in OD. Yeah, he just wants to get in whatever it takes. Whatever amount of bar that's necessary to get it, he's gonna use it. Finds a jump in against the cross spheres. It was lingering a little too long, too predictive, but it was nothing to do. And again, that opening with that drive was crouching light kick to start the party off. Big determiner here for JB. Let's close the distance and Knuckle Dude declines, chooses to spin the OD flash kick and reverse his way out of this. The DI at the perfect timing. Knuckle Dude was asleep. This combo's gonna kill JB up around now in game three. Round two. Fucking cooking blind. Right. Finds they a jump in. in and gets a fireball. You mean the fireball from Ice and Knuckle Dude and a flash kick with it. Confident jump ins. You definitely want it right now. Go for it With the overhead. Dude with the parries, the defense, trying to get the shimmy, no stand fierce. Yes, like, it's a light. Finds a whip punish against the Dragon Fang overhead. He's in his bag. Nice. ODDP stops him from coming through. Look at him putting his walk speed to use, man. I'm so, I'm so impressed by this. Very, very non committal corner pressure. It's like he's keeping pressure by not doing anything, just staying in his face and making it scary. Dude is getting some good answers here, though, and in neutral. Is that combo? Wow, the punish counter Whoa. slide gives us level one. Write that down, machine player. Write that down. Yeah. Still, it's not done. Just gonna come up that level three to stay in the game. Yeah, there we go. All you need is an opening and some far at the bottom to cook. Dead. Gets back into this game, ties the rounds up, one each, a one bar meter lead for JB. So we're likely gonna build that into a level two at some point and try to get it active. That would be my guess as the strategy for JB in this round. JB's looking solid, man. Oh, damn! Oh, man. Play against those, like, cap top cup reactions, bro. Yeah, right? Just what I wanted. Go for that flash kick. Do something with it. And again, that, look at it. Knuckle do pins him to try to get these anti at the right time. There, finally one comes through in the clutch, the flash kick. Get some distance with it, now taking the advantage. Drive rush, hit, and throw. Good crouching medium kick. I'm telling you that Rashid crouching medium kick comes into the conversation of best crouching medium kicks in a game where I've seen some of the most gifted. Nice punish counter throw that's going to put Knuckle Dew away. JB goes ahead now. Two to one. This is our CEO Taku champion in Knuckle Dew right now. Here's a game plan. Get that level two, let it land. Get nasty with it right mm -hmm. there. You know, if you can build that bar, it's like kind of a nice this point, the entry point beside of Rashid. And the way he's making the magic happen from that level two, and how he's able to stabilize the game, fantastic. Knuckle Dew definitely not out of it just yet. As soon as I say that, commentators curse with this work. Corner carry off a of faded. Sonic boom, jump it. Oh, bro. Bro, trying to be in the air. Too late on the draw with that medium. Knuckle Dude is ready. Finally for one of those meaty drive impacts. Fights back. Hits the level one super. So, I mean, get the, the corpse hop, the Zucani, that was so clutch. And JV corpse hops in time, man. This is sick. They're playing some Street Fighter 6, man. That was tricky. gonna like side switch, bro, and he backs up again. Level two even worse, and now you're burnout. Bruh, bruh. Dash up, stand fierce in the mixer to find the finish. JP is putting the likes of a CEO Taku champion in the blender on set point. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. The level two, I think we can all agree at this point, is doing the heavy lifting of the clutch moments in this matchup. Why did Guile get a sweet target combo? Excuse me. Why is he allowed Why to is he have a drive that? Rush crouch fierce. Follow <laughs> it's up. a flash. I don't kick. know, bro. They say y'all, y'all, he ain't saucy enough. We got you. Kyle's hot. Punish counter, and we get the sweep after. Okay, so that's the meterless conversion. Ooh, heavy kick. Old D flash kick. Forked up, uh, American boy, right here. Kyle's had enough, man. Kyle. 
There's another jump in. That wasn't even a punish counter, though. JB just catches him. Upside down kick. Down. the drive rush. Crouch medium kick again. It's like a dagger. The overhead. We combo those. Level two is on deck, Cola. This could happen. Double. Back dash, back dash. He's going to back dash, go for it. Oh, he's a little bit more ambiguous. Back in range. Got to be careful. It is nine frames, so it can be maybe stuffed if he's preemptive. Might even hit the level three, like Stan Pierce level three. Mm -hmm. Crouching kick makes their level three. A lot of options here for JP. We're staying no. Last kick. Knuckle Knuckle A lot of expenditure right here. And JP still sits with three bars at the bottom. I don't know. Ooh, he chases him. Scary. He gets him out of the OD tornado. Now I'm wondering if you're JP. Or JB, why didn't you get that level 2 active earlier? Didn't we have something that we could have gone to to get this problem on the screen? It was what, a, it was, what was giving us all of our money. Yeah, he's dead. Is even worse now. He's, dead. Yeah, he's basically dead. The air there right there. Yeah. I don't know why he's... I feel like didn't find the proper space to, like, run that level 2 just to put him in the blender. You know, even if you're not going to kill, like, find that option to put him on the back. That was JB's game to win. And now, Knuckle Dude's back in business. Tell me Knuckle Dude actually is not on some spicy water chat like Buddy was saying. Tell me he actually ain't on spicy water. Nice with the air-to-air -air double jump again. We get a punish counter, wake up, back throw from Dude. I don't know what he caught, but that's about as good as you could ask for. Nice far distance poke leading into a series for JB. We get offensive pressure here, but we drop the combo. That breaks the eye, hello? Eat. Bossy coming through, I see with the 100. Yo, what? A real one. With the C note? No, no, Impact. Dude, I think dude just saw that. No splatter. Oh, he said word. He said everything would be perfect on my side. Hold up, though. The crouching Round medium punch stuff on the dash he may not pass. JP wants that money. JP now on set point against the CEO Taku champion, Knuckle Dude, playing, I would say, probably the best guy in the country right now. Maybe even the best Rashid in the country as well. Oh, Two extremely high power level uh, players. That was a block on the slide, finally. Yes, yeah, that's, that, that's honestly true. Good in here. Solid, solid gameplay from Knuckle Dude. Not phased. His composure is up there with the likes of the legends, man. He's so hard to rattle, rattle this guy. Another man here. Very safe option. Stand medium kick. I want to poke away. Nothing fancy. That's Wait for him to come down. Yeah, flash kick. Yeah. JB getting desperate up in the corner. Final game. Final round. Knuckle do JB going the distance. I like to see Dragon Thing coming through Drake Thing, I should say. Overhead, blessing the dome for a medium kick. Mm -hmm. Walked up throwing the parry, he was ready. Now we get the level two, enough games. We're down on dry meter, he just gets the flip in. Are you kidding me? Tornado goes in, parry on deck for Knuckle Dude, and he fights out with the jab into the flash kick, into the level three. Things are going from bad to worse from JP right now, man. Not looking good. Let me make this back. It's gonna be difficult. Why don't we punch after it though? Stan Mini Kick may hit the dry rush right after that. But JP wasn't ready. Oh, D, careful now. Knuckle D almost in burnout. Definitely not an option. So dry rush punish. Or just a walk up back fist. Check my wrist. And Knuckle D moves on in the final game, final round. That was God. Here, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get DJ versus Marisa. I do like Marisa in this matchup. I feel like her tools stack up pretty well against DJ. She can contest them at some pretty nice ranges. As long as she can deal with the zone, that's just the name of the game. Different looks here. See the fake outs. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Maybe the fake outs are the way. You gotta be careful. It's a little bit of trouble with the fake outs every so often. Brother, the sway punish counter is insane. What you get off of that is crazy. Yeah. Really spiced up his offensive potential, you know, made him made him less of a, a boring, like slightly different guy, you know. Something that he's yeah. been, the allegations he's been dealing with since day one. Magnum Buster, hella meeting with that drive rush. Charges up, trying to cut through the fireballs of that OD is too much to deal with, and this damage is too. 
drops it out with the OD match. No, I'm sorry, that was sick. Great first round for Complex. Big whiff. I don't know what 801 Strider was looking for there, but he just leaves it all hanging out. 20% gone, just like that. That was cold. Mm. You cannot let Marisa jump out of the corner on you like that. That's rough. All space and Sabat gets clipped, come into that overhead, got hit. Yeah, he ate a ton of damage, but Wanda what? walked back in level three. This is one of the things that Big Burn was talking about. In this matchup, Sabat is hell of annoying because you can't space it out to make it minus and up to punish it on block because her back lock speed, not so good. Drive rush throw, one more hit, we'll see the deal, trying to find a jump in. Another throw, a back throw. We'll get the kill. Complex with the first win. It's had enough of y'all talking mad mess up in the chat. That was quick. That was super quick. Dominant games. Or dominant game one, excuse me, from Complex 90. Nicely done. I think really just sort of suffocating 801 Strider there. We get a jump in from 801 Strider. Choosing the bait. Interesting. Three combo. Got reversal. Baits it out. Yes, yeah, Stagger 7. Let these hits be connected. Get that minus 8 punish right there. Up in the corner. Kill that drive game. Mm. Help. Gladius. Impact. Really? All of course. Kite. Yikes. Crazy exchange there at the end. 801 Strider comes up ahead, gets the first round. I think Complex 90 just got a little fidgety there. Maybe a little bit impatient. That's the only way that you can make that target combo safe, by the way. 801 Strider doing the correct option. Drivers canceling into the crouching line. It's a bar. You're a thirsty girl in some sequences. That makes sense. Glad he has a... Wow, Drivers right punch stuffing that. So maybe he's gonna recover it. See? Nah. Okay, meteorite. Good night. I love that. Close to death here. Wake up, super yo. These. You, are you beat the allegations? Complex no. with the reset throw. That's the cheap. damage. That's so the damage. We'll go for the plus six crouching medium punch. Yeah. Every now and then you see that off the drop of the super. We get a bait and just like that, as quickly as Complex 90 ran away with the first game. 801 Strider responds and collects the second. That was nuts. Mm. The other one. <laughs> That's my boy Chapter. Waiting. That dude's funny. All right. Good juggle. We get the corner carry. Safe jump into throw. We were looking for potential parries there. Okay, we're ready. The second throw. Third throw. Come in. Oh, big grab this time. What? Oh, Too big. Let's get big grab. Oh. What? <laughs> it's a joke. Now I don't try to burn out. Hey. Drop. Burn out. It doesn't matter. Bro, I'd be mad too because I'd rather just like take the trade if I have the health either way. Like, I'm, I'm no mad, bro. You better kill me. Ooh, the anti air. I love that. The reset. So crispy. We just bust out again. Counter bust out. Who's going to win? Ooh. There's the ball again. There we go. Yeah, Cardi Ball. Yeah, there we go. Complex has him in the corner. I'm sorry I doubted you. You get two plates now, my boy. Impact coming. Trying to stay fine. Yeah. Complex once again to have that rematch against no one. To, to what fight if? against chat, bro. What is? To fight. If you low. The perfect, the mix. Game to game, round to round again. I love it. I love this. Yeah, bro. You're taking me out. Nice drive rush in from Complex. Checking early, and we get another stand light kick into the drive rush confirm. Complex looking fast, man. He's playing so quick. I like that. I like the energy. Like, don't let her get the initiative off. You know, don't let her get anything started. And these empty mm. like, these types of things like that are fantastic. Almost a wrap. One more hit in the level three is all he needs. Wait Drive minute. rush. Wait a minute. You see another perfect. Oh my god. If you do this, he should jump down. Chat can't say a goddamn thing Double about perfect. Boy. Double perfect. DJ. Where are all the people talking mad mess about complex in the chat though? Where are they at right now? Like oh Mama god. Mia. Two, Where are you at now? Two perfects against Marisa. To be fair. To be fair, Marisa is yeah. definitely a character you can be stacking some perfect. She just yeah, she just does not have any heads. Yeah, it's yeah. rough. And the complex knows that, so he's taking it to her. So give it, you know, hats off to him. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Don't play it lame. Don't give her a chance to take shots. Just get in there and maul. Another jump out though, and a meaty, meaty starter. Yikes.
Yeah. Look at Buster, really good as a starter. Abby with the heavy kick gets a knockdown with the sledgehammer. Crouch fears. Just with all the ball throw. That's hot. Magna Buster is godlike, bro. That's disgusting. That's a gross name for a gross normal. Woo! I keep swinging that bar at the bottom too well, not swing for like level three. Spin it for like just to find a finish. You'll build that bar around two or three if need be. Good. Go for it, go for it. Fights out, finally. I like that. Good check. Nice throw as well. You know, one Strider putting on a lot of damage. He tried to check for the reversal. Ends up Quadriga kicking into the corner. Not a great situation. Complex 90 stacking in big damage. The meaty jump light kick into the throw. He's getting mixed. Bro. Yeah, the problem with this is the crouching knee clutch gonna hit. A strike throw, you're so scared. And Complex opens up. Strider puts himself on set point. Complex again. Hungry to get that win. Strider maybe on a different day would have got that W, but you know. That this a is a dude that man, is, man. bro, he's he's angry, bro. Y'all talk too much mess, he powered him up. Strider, got wow. a lot of work to do. Punish counter into the just cool. Goes for the punish counter throw. A lot of damage coming in on 8 one Strider early, and he misses the command throw. Fantastic read from Complex 90. Yikes, back touch. In the front two, you know what to do. All areas of skin to get in. Yeah, drive rush. Fade up, possibly to fade out of reversal. No yeah. rebuttal here for Sutter just yet. He's got to find yeah. a way out. This is bad. Level three. He hit actually him. got the hit. Okay. Okay. Strider. This is possible. Let me see He's close. He's close. This is CA. No meter. Drive rush in. Impact. Yeah. Medium in the impact. Walk Can't toward go. the boat as much far as possible. We swim bar now? No, not just yet. No. To make with. Oh my god, he's actually dead, ladies and gentlemen. Ties it up two to two. I cannot believe how much damage that did. That wasn't punish counter, right? Am I wrong? I don't think that that was a punish counter. I, don't I think that think was just that raw damage. Raw damage. Let me get a set of raw damage, bro. Woo! 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 Big reset. Big reset. Oh my god. That was over, but Strider with that level three saves it. Damage is what keeps her in the game. One of the biggest things about this character is the damage. Strider. Much God right now. Impact right back, though. He is complex. Complex still paying attention, not phased by losing that game. Still playing clutch, playing solid. Good checks, good counters. Oh, no, 801 Strider flubbing his inputs, man. He's going to lose. Yeah, that could not have been what he wanted. Unfortunately, Complex takes it back from the brink. Big Strider right there, momentum right back that he just got. You know, you never out of this character. Can you find the same sort of Strike throw with the throw, but no crouching you punch in that distance to find a hit. Fishing for the Gladius. Gets a jump in. Nice tech and complex. Gladius is good. Oh, he goes for it, and he hits it. Yeah, he's got massive damage coming in on 801 Strider. Rhythm is solid. We get the side switch. Yikes. Yeah, right back throw. Yeah, put him in the corner, drive rush throw. Well, now Strider, he's got a chance. See the break right there with the light punch to try to fade out of reversal. Now he is putting this man down to the ground. Final game, final round. Again, Chad. Again, Chad. Give me you more. said it. You said it, man. That uh, Complex was playing angry. I couldn't agree more in the previous rounds, but it seems like 801 Strider is waking up, landing in the big shots. Pressure on Complex early. He's down on meter. Massive jumping. He could be dead. He actually could be dead. Volley. He might be dead. Oh, he's in the yellow. This damage ain't metal, my boy. He's gonna spin everything. Gladius. Where's Big Bird? Where's Big? Bring me Big Bird right now. Defend this damage, Big Bird. He's alive. Not dead. How do you can bring this back? You can't get hit. Touch or tap. Coast over and finds that hit. Strider, three, two. I like the words that she's got in terms of matchups. We'll have to see what happens. Let's see if what's on paper matters to a match like that. Loser side, somebody going home. Loser side, indeed. This is our second top eight loser side match. Nas, you're going to try to make it happen with the jury crossover one of our storied kins in, in tns he's pretty typically floating around the top three. it's extremely normal for him to see a top three finish in the tns tournament naji though 
while I would say a very consistent finisher, and especially a top eight qualifier, still looking for that big win. Yeah. Still searching for that. I mean, it's hard. It's just gets even stronger and stronger, but that means Zaji himself gets stronger and stronger. He's been a grinder by similar out that jury. Grinder. So wouldn't be, wouldn't be shocked to see him take this tournament either, you know, like have that breakout day today. You know? Wouldn't be shocked. Nice cross cut. Pinwheel from Naji, but it doesn't matter. Crossover just keeping the pressure. Putting on damage to this life bar. She's down to just a couple of hits. That was a perfectly spaced DI. We're actually gonna choose to spin on the Feng Shui engine. That was cute. That was really, really cute. Naji, man, I gotta tell you right now, the most impressive thing about Naji is how instinctual they play with their setup yes. and their game plan. Naji has 0% hesitation when they play, none. I like that. Believe what you lose all the area right there, but here we go. Side switch off the level one. Cross up and cross over the side switch. Double slide punch. Crashing that door. Oh, they parried. The double. Damn, okay, punish. Good check. Counter hit throws. Gonna set up the throw loop situation. We try to bait. Punish counter on the parry. We wake up level one. Dangerous situation because you are still down even after the reversal. So now Najee has to find a way to really make this count. Feeling each other out, great punish. punish counter. Oh no, that's punishable, but the biggest one here from the side of crossing, we had bar to find extension, but maybe he just wasn't ready. So clean it up, BB, nice and easy up the spin wheel. Really? Impact, react just like that. Carrasso, we're now ready for the drive impact. Yeah. yeah, we spin a bar. We use the wake up super from Najee, so we don't have the Feng Shui engine on deck. We don't have the level three on deck. Meanwhile, crossover is stock. If he gets a big combo or if he goes into a critical art situation, he's going to have it available. That's going to play into this round, no doubt. Of course. Dancing mm. with the fireballs. Looking at that crouching immediate kick every so often. Stan light kick on. Damn. He said light kicks. Caught him with that buffer. Crouching immediate punch. Najee, foot out. Look at them just feeling each other out in neutral. Crossover, fishing. Knows that he just needs a big confirm to really take over this match. And meanwhile, Najee finds the level two and gets it live. Feng, Feng Shui engine on deck. Good job with the counter. We, got, we really walk him down and get the low there, but a drop, a crucial drop. That could have been much worse. Harry? Yeah, it could have been much worse, but still, anyone's game though. Yikes. Crossover. Wakes up with a crouching knee kick, and that's it. Jin Rai Light Kick. Level three immediately. Will not kill, but it will put him close in that game point situation. I'm sorry. Round. He just needs to put him in the corner. Jin Rai. Yeah, burnout so bad. I thought pre to jump out. He does get out of the corner. Anyway. That's massive. Checkmate situation. Brother. Crossover. Nicely scouted. Very, very well scouted. This is what I'm talking about. Like, you, you get the burnout against Ken, it might be the end, bro. Like, it, it sucks. sucks. Jinrai gets so strong in Burnout, as if it wasn't already. How is Najee going to fight back here in Game 2? Pushing Ken to the corner early. This is where we had the most success. Beautiful punish counter. Knows their stuff. Well done, crossover. Yeah, you try to go for a uh, preemptive perfect pair, but just did not work out. The throw right after. Punish counter. Burnout bad. Level one has to do that. Had no other way. You know, you're burnout. What are you also going to do? Great choice. So, side switch is good, yeah. In fact, the character can side switch is next. Nazi chooses to spin the stock for the drive rush. We get some offense. Push Ken towards the corner. We spin again. The DI is good. And it hits, too. So, we stack on a little bit of extra damage. How are we going to end this? Reset. Extra throw. We talked about burnout against Ken earlier, man. Chooses to spin the level one, and it's no good. I gotta believe that this combo from crossover is gonna be enough. And it is. He takes the round. Risk for Najee not paying off right now. Can you believe you still have more? You still have more to do. Right. That's crazy. Oh, that was that medium kick. Great start and stuff. So he's uh, print the button suit. He's lights and uh, medium from the side of crossover. Light DP though from the side of crossover. Puts him in the corner. Najee. Cool. Good fireball and a better whip punish. Nicely done. The Feng Shui engine comes online. How are we going to seal this round? Perfect. Very good tech. That's a little bit of a mix-up because it doesn't completely give you a punish on the safe jump. Najee gets 
hit with the jab combo. At least we took the throw though. And good oh, punish. Look how they both wait for each other's reversals, supers, and things mm. like that. Good awareness, Naj. Blocking like a pack of Legos, holding back the kick off the ODDP. Ooh, a nice counter poke. Okay, Naji looking pretty nice here in the third round of game two. We get the advantage. We push Ken all the way to the corner. It is essential. Essential. We do not let him jump out. We catch the back dash. He does jump out. That's like you're saying. No. Oh. In the corner, though. Stops. It stops the coverage. The stand heavy kick. Be careful. That's the punishable. Okay. Lost level two. Plus frame. So not go. Anything. No follow up right after. Let's find a follow up, though. Auto combo. Custom combos, bro. That's what's so hot. Custom combos. This character. That level two is freakish, man. It's Massive cool. lead for Naji right now. Oh, wait a minute, though. This is gonna. What? This might be just barely not burnout, but it's close enough that it's basically. Burnout. It's burnout. Okay, burnout. burnout. Now Naji might lose. Bro, he might. He's holding all this pressure. He doesn't have any levels at the bottom. Shin Rai, DP, one more sequence. Impact, yeah. Can't react. That's that. Cross over is on fire. 2-0, man. He's making this look easy. We were talking a, well, a lot of gas about Shoto's giving problems to Jury. So far, it's definitely looking true. We missed the Annie here, though. Pretty interesting as Nazi just drive rushes in and sticks a button out. Yo, he gets hit by that. No. Barry gets a dry brush, man. He's ready with it. Oh, there's another big punish opportunity, but he gets the second one. Now she goes for a parry again. What a counter on the landing frame. Yeah, just these follow ups with the uh, dry brush right after. Very smart stuff. Crossover. What's that point? But honestly, well deserved. Kid or not, like that perfect parry. Yes. Right there against dry brush. That takes some work, chat. Like, y'all. Oh, I don't care what Kirby Blaine. We ain't running like that. I'm just saying. Ken Defender. Had it, it just had to say something, didn't you, pal? Nah, I understand. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Trust me, I get you. Shoto's still got to put the pieces together. Right now, Ken on the back foot, though. Getting pressed towards the corner. Finds the perfect opportunity. Get that dagger crouching medium kick and take him all the way. No, Naji with the perfectly timed body reversal. Racks him off a little bit. How for a little bit, exactly. I know yeah, he's getting bro. back in there, and immediately he does, and he finds a throw. Nice okay, here we go. Drops with the kick, slips it in. Level two. He likes the level two. You know what? I said go for this. Get that corner carry. Yeah. Put him in a bad Ooh. position, but ODP. He said, "Listen, I'm not done. Crossover. I'm not done yet. I still got one more in me. Never mind. The throw's nice, fine. Bro. Still, still set point for him." They both drive rush. Ken gets the weed, gets the win on it, but no conversion. OD fireball and no drive rush overhead. We finally hit one of those. Throw into the corner. Catch the back dash. Fireball's out. Yes, don't let this man jump out. No! <laughs> get out of the game, but at least we get the crossover. Pin the throw. Struggle for the instant overhead against the throw. Crossover so ready with it, blocks it out, punishes it, hits him with that level three. A lot of damage done here. And still caught from the corner. There's a lot of bar on crossover side. Drive a slight punch. Stan Bro, Pierce, Stan Pierce puts him in burnout. He did all that to put him in burnout, but Najee still has level two. Is that worth it? Was it worth it? Level two activation gets him out at least. Kind of back to neutral, a small life lead from crossover, and those Hadoukens are not making it any better. The DI, right as he comes out of burnout. That was so clutch and so smart. Is Najee gonna get on the board here? So close. Oh, if only we spent no. maybe one more time. No! Into the ODDP, oh, no. Najee really fed it on. He really oh, fed it on ODDP. Oh. The crossover. Oh. Stay solid, Najee. I get it, the pressure's oh. right there. We got him here. In a weekly, baby. In a 300 person weekly. Also, the best, the best out here. You know, we already seen Naki doing the come through Punk and all like. Mm -hmm. Come on now. The yeah, Punk was playing Aki tonight, by the way. Yeah. That's why we don't see him in the top eight yet. Ooh, almost gets a nasty punish counter on that wake up parry. Jump back jab, that is your friend if you're Marisa. Yeah, you're looking for jump back jab, but like, you're lucky, but the faster option is definitely jab. 
I see people have space to watch for that jump too. OD spinning mixer that is so good as a reversal. Gets all that carry. Builds tons of separation. Nice choice from JB. Although he is still in massive danger. Ooh. Long time anti air to crouch fierce is right there. You know, the one thing that her anti air has going for her is it's a soft knockdown. Oh, uh, yeah, no hard knockdown. Okay. Here we go. Like hey. that. Going into the Rashid kick. Just make sure it kills him. Super Rashid kick. That's an awesome level one super. No man's on that synth dot. I like that. Yeah. He just checks him. Massive combo on deck. And pushes him all the way. So why does it got a side switch though? <laughs> he needs it. Come on. I'm so many side switch supers. You're like spending bar. On level ones too. What's that, up with that? But you know what? That means no level two for a while. And that means that the Strider oh, is like true. one minute away. Two sequences away from that level two. I like fight. that. Look at the bar at the bottom. Oh, oh my God. I didn't even need it. I loved that reversal there. The, the, the drive reversal, great decision to keep JB in the corner. Knew that he was just a couple of pokes away from taking that. There it is. Oh, he misses the juggle though. We got the punish counter in here. Just not enough to follow up. JB gets the crouching medium kick into the drive. Which tries to get tricky with it. Don't matter. 801 Shredder just fights out. Finds I like it. The toe tap just like that. Hits him with the super. Surprise. Bam. Still to the corner. Got no burn out. medium into impact. We lose the dash up, but JB's out of there. Oh yeah! Oh, good challenge. Tried to bait a reversal there. Put Rashid into burnout. Great decision to level two here. You need the time. And we get the the eagle spike. Hello. Yeah. And if you low. Him up. Oh, he gets Come the on. In hit, but in burnout, JB's got to keep the pressure on. Do not want to get with the Superman punch starter. Ooh! Gets anti here. Dropped down to the ground and the overhead takes the round. 801 Strider dropping the sledgehammer on this dude's head. That's what I'm talking about. That anti air, at least you get the soft knockdown. Imagine if Marisa, if every time you anti air somebody, they just reset on their feet. How annoying that'd be. They could just jump in immediately again. At least you get the drive rush, Oki. At least you get something to set up. Nicely done from 801 Strider. JB getting early pressure though. Getting Marisa into the corner this early into the game. This is what you want. But he's fighting back. Look at that. And you see him sticking the crouching light kick. After that crouching medium punch, the fourth was like, bro. Bro, I staggered button. Mm, what? Damn. What? Superman punch. Oh, he with a oh no, the way to bait. Time to decimate when it comes to health, bro. Damn. Seriously. How clutch is it to be plus four on a button on block? And you bait. Know that JB's gonna OG mixer. I mean, to be fair, in all of his earlier games, JB was like, Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true. We get the side switch. Nicely done, and he baits the punish, or he gets the punish counter throw. That's so smart. It's too terrible, right here. For medium punch. Backs him. That's the charge up. That's the follow up. That's oh, he doesn't actually get it. Proceed inconsistencies. Yo, Capcom, buff him. Buff him, Capcom. Buff him. <laughs> Dangerous situation for both players. If 801 Strider touches him, he is dead. Could be a, a straight Gladius. Could be a Quadriga kick. JB bets it all on the OD spinning mixer. And now we get to level two on deck. The parries are engaged. We tech the throw. Sound misses level two. Yeah, he's nice. the empty low again. The crouching light kick starter. Light punch into the impact. Knew that Eagle Spike would not finish the job, but that will. I love that. Reason the situation. Get that follow up to find the finish in that corner station. Smart stuff, JB fighting back. He's gonna get another level two, man. I like this. Oh, yeah, he is. I like this playing around the level two economy. I mean, that's so smart. We've seen what it done for characters like Blanca, who get so much off the level two. Nice throw. Level one. Okay, now we're probably not gonna get that level two. It's still possible. Sam Fear starter. Oh, no. Harry, but here's the throw right after them, switching up the options. Yeah, now you see him backing up looking for the ODDP for the sign to be. Follow up, side switch, hold this throw, bro. And he's outside the corner. Air to air right there. Jump heavy. Still completely doable from Risa. She gets away with one. Level two, he knows he's trying to activate. 
Yeah, but it's nine frame startup, so like you know Strider wants to check the challenge that he has to be careful about it. Yeah, gets the space. There we go, full screen now. This sucks. <laughs> this sucks. Really? Oh! For who? Really? For who? He still got the dirt! Why he got the tornado after the tornado? It makes no sense. Mm -hmm. so Neutral so drama! That was a clutch musical drum, man. Great punish. I feel like 801 Strider was in control of that match, too. So, or that game, excuse me. Nicely done from JB to stay solid, to adapt, get back into it, and take the game. Pass it up. Very good stuff by me. Like it's. Ooh. In the corner. Heavy mixer. Cancel this time. Backs away. No throw play. Cody. Drive reversal. Okay. I'm trying to hold that pressure. Or eat up that drive gauge, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. don't have to get hit on uh, on block. Oh, with the, it looked like Stan Beauty kick. Okay. Jump out of the corner. Bad news for Marisa. Okay, and Rashid's juggling. This is looking horrible until he gets to just raw jump in combo. The sweet, the ultra rare shiny sweet. Didn't matter. JB fights out and completes the combo. Well done. Looking dominant here so far in his his adaptations. Ever since 801 Strider got that first game, JB has responded in kind and looking super solid. Damn, these jump-ins are getting real nasty. Again, problem at point as you pointed out previously. He's canceled two off the four medium points. He's been going for that bench right there. Sends out the O. He doesn't get the fall up the slash. So caught up in the corner. Right in time to call a corner. Look at that bar at the bottom. Man. Level three. If JB mm. wants to, he can maybe seal the deal with Wait the right conversion. The same with Strider. Level three on his side of things. He's going to spin right now. Okay. I don't hate the decision. Um, you need to get the damage in when you can. Plus, you're ahead in drive meter, so it makes sense economically. But how do we keep him from activating level two? Yikes, we go for the command grab, and JB was just ready. The level three conversion is going to take this. Going up two to one right now for this can open champion. And the Strider looking super solid in the loser side. Hold north so you don't go south, dog. You do not want to be six feet under, and the command grabs have not been landed. No. JB on game one. Drive rush into drive rush. Yikes. Massively aggro opening from JB. Just wants to start things off early. Doesn't care how much he has to spend to do it. Seems like it's paying off. Marisa with all those problems on defense. He just OD reversals through the light punch target combo. Not this oh, no. time though. Yeah, this time did not work out. That JB's gonna lose half of his life for that battle DVD. Back to so the was for an old or a level one, but the came through. A jump in does. Strider calls up the fireball. Finds a follow-up. OD. Superman. Gladius frame kill. So Chip will do it. There, there is right there. He knew he had to leave the corner. And Chip was gonna come through. Stay on set point. Strider, we saw this before, right? Strider mm -hmm. was down some games. He started to make yeah. that climb. And that's part of that's definitely part of Maurice's game plan. You have to dial it in, for sure. You gotta learn how to cage your opponent, dig in on their habits, and get those big call outs. Good job from JB getting the throw. Not a punish counter though, so 801 Shredder can take those. Good reversal. Back it up. Look at this. They're so close. They're so they're they're playing so close, yet respecting each other so much. Even looking for like good buzz. We saw that driver stand here trying to put that crouching medium kick. Overhead nice. denies. Meteorite applied. Yeah. From the skies. Muscle mommy coming down. Backed up. Found the punish. And this is bad. Caught that same medium kick. You're up in the corner. The chase now. Very back though. Just jumps away. He wants to jump in. Yeah, because it's a safe jump. The perfect parry does not guarantee you a punish. Very lucky for Mada 1 Strider that the target combo did not get interrupted there. We trade. Oh, he baited! Face of the only DP! Two to two! 801 Strider ties it up after a massively clutch bait. JB was getting away with murder with the OD mixers for sure. That was something that he did to massive success in the last game. 801 Strider, you dialing in, man. We're gonna have to see another adjustment from JB now. He is turning up like volume right now, and it's getting a little bit too loud. Nice challenge on that over situation. Trying to find one on his side, I think, for drive rush. It's a throw, JB, lacking some of that drive gauge. Has to get aggressive, try to bust some of that far back. 
I like that. Get that side switch. You get close to that corner, bro. Get close to the coffin. Good Annie here. Very, very nice. He played, but JB just wakes up with jabs. The drive rush overhead is going to get this whole party started, man. Meaty overhead again. So we get the second combo. The throw is peppering in. So much pressure coming in. Punish counter. Get the counter hit, man. Non committal things just stand for this fireball, four medium punch, fireball, really? wind sword, just simple stuff to close off the deal. I like that. Finds a jump, like it. Damn, that's unfortunate. Drive rush with the throw. Strider gets his off, though. Meaty off in them guts with that foot all the way in them. This is about to be bad. There's one. Hand grab. Bars get built up at the bottom. Another OG spinning mixer. Nothing has proven to him that he needs to stop. Doesn't matter how many giant Marisa combos. I need a cross up, by the way. That's so cheesy. Are we going to combo to level three? No. Knockdown. Go. Level two. Do you regret that? Try brush. Go try reverse. Just wait. Backs off. Back up. Back up. He wants that level two. But the Ooh. nine frame started. Maybe he's just afraid of that. Both players in burnout. Robert. Back up. Back up. Nice right combo. there. He's Run. so close. Level three. Oh, Get a win. Players. He got it, JP! JP! Oh, Damn! Unbelievable. Damn. Unbelievably close. Wow. They could have like quad kick for like what? The chip, right? Yeah, the chip would have done it. He could have canceled as well. Maybe that was what's just previously. But these two cats, they slot. They, 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 yeah. They're it's swinging. a slobber knocker. It's that, it's that kind of match. They're Waffles, swinging, man. parking lot, <laughs> Walmart. Black Friday sale, sort of swinging right now. We're throwing chairs, you know what I'm saying? It's definitely going to get dirty. They're going to play mean. They're going to be aggressive. Be, be in each other's face and spend a lot of drive meter, especially from no other prodigy. We've seen it from them all night. He likes to burn. He likes to churn. Get in close. Yes, pepper with buttons. Find those two burns. Nicely done. We put him all the way in the corner. How's crossover going to handle this? The throw loops have been engaged. Yeah, here we go. Throw from the corner. Mm. The throw, but that's no big deal. The crouch fears to catch him leaving. Crossover got a lot of work to do here. No one's in burnout, but it doesn't matter. Again, you know what? I feel like, again, going for burnout, don't matter if he gets the lead. If he gets the lead, he's A-OK. -okay. He's got level one, two, and all that stuff like that to back him up if need be. Nice super art to close it. I like that. Good spend. Crossover on the back foot early on in the first game. One round for Noah. Solid position here. Just fishing, finds the crouching medium kick into the drive rush cancel, stacks on some damage, pushes him towards the corner. Ooh, respects the wake up. Medium punch, something after it. I can last the throw, you thought it was a throw? No go, Bozo. Let me this level two. This is bad. You're almost at burnout. He said, uh, you wanna nice. be a burnout, I got you. Let me let me help you out. Yeah. Brother, the crouch fear shit. No, it's still alive, but only Barry. Barely. He actually gets such a clutch poke out there. He goes into burnout, but at least it's on his own turn. He doesn't just get pressed into the corner and no driving pack stun. Another checkmate set up from crossover though. Nice to get ball scouted. Fireball, drive rush, crouch fierce. Fantastic. Even in rounds. But Barry, drive rushes in with the quickness. Noah already getting nasty. Chaser up in the corner. Ooh, fishes for that. He gets the OD reversal, so another punish counter stacks on. We go ahead and choose to spin. That's going to put Noah into burnout. No surprise there. Level 3 is still available, though, for Luke. Ooh. He said neutral jump, maybe looking for like level 1 or level 3. Bust out. Which and Noah's going entry point. Plus frames. Yeah, he's so afraid of. Oh, he he can't do that. Do that. You can't do that. My man's got the bar at the bottom of the stage. Ready with it. Keep that MF thing on him, bro. I'm telling you, you can't drive impact this stack. No gaps just like that it is a wrap. No other prodigy, bro. If you, I swear to God, try to put any drive impacts in your game plan, take them out right now. You see no one do this continuously, bro. Mm -hmm. Very, very clutch decision from Noah. Second time we've seen him check those wake up drive impacts while he himself is in burnout. Odd little sequence there. We get a couple of counter hits, but no cancel again. But Danny Air is good at least. Crossover has been pretty patient, I would say, for the, uh, the the OD reversal game. He hasn't been willing to just throw it out yet. 
Oh, he gets Big caught swinging. So this is wild. Noah is Yo! Perfect really carry on his. We're going for Oki. Yeah, we're going for that corner carry chaser in there. Yeah, this one's up. Good combo choice, and this is great. I don't know what crossover went for there. It was like a wake up crouch button. We do jump out. Noah does find the anti air, but that doesn't change the positioning. Crossover in a much better position. Chance to put Noah towards burnout. We missed the anti air. Look how close he is. You always look at where both that bar. Yo, it don't Bro. matter again. No gaps, my friend. Bro. Gotta keep your strings tight, all right? Ugh, beast mode. One more hit to seal the deal. Got all this distance to play with. Only fireball. You have to be picture perfect. Nice rise of anti air. Chin ride. Does not let the other part fly because it would have been with. But that's it. The fast fireball. Fast is in the business. Dog is Noah. What? Is it too low? Hello? Yeah. Excuse me? I heard crossover was showing up to the losers quarters, man. I ain't seen him yet. I know he got more than this. So far, the loop giving him all kinds of problems. I want to see. I want to see this kid respond. I know crossover is capable of explosive games. He just can't pepper right now. Getting overwhelmed by the pace from Noah the Prodigy. Man, I don't know if Noah just got a bedtime or something. Mom right. said, you "Pause the game. Pause the game. I can't pause, Mom. Right. It's online. It's online. <laughs> it's it's champing every seat." Level one, just paying attention, putting so much pressure. This crossover just gets caught, whiffing a crouch, heavy punch, full screen. Really? That's a punish counter? Hello? DDP. Rising up or the possibly take crossover down. I see oh, you, I see with the Ray, baby. Good tournament tonight, my friend. Thanks for joining TNS once again. Noah is on set point right now and taking it to crossover in this round. Massive life lead early. Pushes him all the way to the corner. Checking with buttons. Popular fights out. And we get a punish counter. This is absolutely we need to get back into this. Yeah, we do. We're going to take Sam Fierce Fireball. Crossover has him in the corner. Even with like Noah's and Burnout, like, it, just, it feels like it just don't matter, bro. Like You have to take advantage. Find a way to take advantage of it. Fall these mm. uh, supers. But while you think about all that, he has jumped in on the jump Fierce Daughter. Chase her up in the corner, drive rush overhead, blocked out, but still mm. like it. That's gonna be it. You don't mind if I go beast mode, do you? That's that? enough for the kill. No one. Was, was that six straight games? Or six straight rounds? It fell that way. I don't even know if crossover got on the board or not. He definitely never got his game plan started. You don't see people do <laughs> crossover. Like player, this would be a great pick. Like, you know, JP does so much against his character when he comes to the shot of the booms. And it's Pierce, it's the partial on knockdown, it's painful. But you're fighting Knuckle Dude. You're fighting the clacking of the buttons, the anger of fighting this character. You are fighting Knuckle Dude who hates this character and all who play him with a passion. He's gonna get nasty, he's gonna get aggressive. All right, Knuckle Dude, back to a better start after this. You had a good start, pushing Matthew to the corner. He's out of there. Oh, we drop a, I would say, essential confirm. You don't want to leave anything on the table against Knuckle Dude. At least we have a small lead, both in life and in drive meter. So the pressure is ours. Nice cross up departure, my guy. Departure is so cheap. It really is. I feel like that's one of the cheapest things about this game plan. Holds you down on Oki. Follow us after throws. It's really, really good. I believe he's gonna stay in that mid to close range so he can't set up. Couple of OG flash kick. It's some space. Now he's in burnout. Mm. Damn! Mm. That was perfectly spaced. Max range combo. The drive rush into crouching knee kick into the flash kick. Nice link. Knuckle Dude taking offense here in the second round. He just beating the absolute snot out of this old man, bro. Hello? 40 the nursing home said. Bro, he was in the nursing home and said, his hands are ready to eat for everybody. Come give get him. Give me your oldest. <laughs> give me your oldest. Knuckle up, buddy. Knuckle up. Perfect spacing here, dude. Perfect spacing. He forces the jump. Nephew tries to get out. The flash kick is ready. The level two is active. He gets the drive rush follow up. I'm surprised he actually lets that get away from him. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold no up. Way. He's in burnout. No Nephew out. Level three. Oh, okay. That was clutch. Knuckle Dude's still in level two, though. I'm surprised that that's still going. Critical are stacking on so much damage, though. Holy smokes, it won't even matter. Ties up the rounds just like that. 
I was gonna say, I wonder if level two would have been fine there because he would have saved the bar for level two in the next round, but you don't build it up anyway. If, if, you're, if you're JT, you don't build up that bar. You, you would have spin away. You would have killed. I get you. I get you now. I understand. The departure's on the screen, so Knuckle Dude has to parry, show some respect. And if he gets the back throw, we train to trade positions. Ooh, fake no. ghost. Oh, he gets the knockdown. Because we need to catch some of that real estate too as well. Oh, he calls out the Pierce. He heard. I feel like he heard the word peak, and he's like, no, "I'm jumping immediately. I'm in there." Yeah, shouts to jump heavy kick into flash kick combo. Oh, brother, what game are we playing? Nephew has to hold this super awkward spacing as Knuckle Dude just walks him down. Misses the confirm though. Things are still horrible for Nephew. Oh yeah, this is Chip no dip. Wait a minute. Pass on the level one. He parries. He baits. He punishes. He backfists. And he puts the old man down for this game. He sticks to it though. Nicely done. I love the guile theme, by the way. I know some people, some people are hating because it's not the old one, but it's got that drop in it. So hard. It's going. Perfect time to drive rush in there from Guile. Look at him just piecing him up when he's got this corner control. Oh, he has a big jumping combo from Nephew. Yeah, that jump is really nasty. To get on the jump and the teleport. Hold on, Nephew. The JP's evolving. All it took for some teleports, some jumping to get the win right there. Buffering the Pierce. But the area right there. Uh oh, punish counter, jab. Knuckle Dude making the most out of every situation. Throw. Need that level two, it could be over. Back up. Yikes. Oh, the impact you're getting. Yikes. Knuckle Dude's a guy. Yikes. From just a pixel two. That's the epitome of, you know, you thought you slid that round in the pocket. Nah, I'm going to reach in and take it. Pixel Knuckle Dude clutches it out. It's the round win over Nephew JP. It's the max distance target combo off the sweep, but not able to convert into the flash kick. We jump out of the command throw and get this, the Juggle Sonic boom. Oh my god, Knuckle Dude's playing so lights out right now. He is Yikes. playing insane. Look at the bar, the drive case. All went of the way right now. Again, we'll do that check-in situation so we can put him in the chip. No dip. Yikes. There's the anti right there. No more jumping. Walk up throw. He said, I've had enough of JP. Bro. Just Perfect. fist on right now. Nah. Just nah. fist nah. on. Knuckle Dude. God damn. Not that combo, bro. Not the jab, drive rush, jab, <laughs> drive rush, jab. Oh, brother, doing it. The maximum lazy style. Nephew down two games in winner's final. You don't want to, I mean, I understand it, though. I understand. I get you scolding the boy, the homie. Yeah. But also, you got to get the ready, you know? It's, it's, it's a world-class guy. You're in winner's finals of a tournament. I understand getting the reps in. It just looks like Knuckle Dude is playing at another gear right now. Roman is in fifth, but let's see if Nephew can do something different with his hard. Knuckle Dude, once he gets to that close range and when he's like hitting through your drive gauge, no matter what character, it's hard to stop him. And we haven't really seen much of uh, Nephew. Mm. Maybe more of these like perfect parries against the Sonic Booms might be yes. what he needs instead of blocking. I know that sounds terrible, but blocking is bad in Street Fighter 6. I like that, trying to go for the drive rush, pull up, uh, departure teleport, kind of mixing up the timing there, but nobody home both times he went for it. Knuckle Dude not biting. Pretty even on drive gauge, a small life lead for Nephew that could evaporate in a moment. Really good. Right, Level two, go. first time. This. Nice, he blocks it, he parries and punishes. You're kidding me. Got the side switch too as well. Knuckle Dude's so ready with it, but look at the bar. That burnout gauge. Gonna be careful, teleport, run get into the appears, in the appears. I like that now. Not done yet. Alright, nephew, wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up, my boy. Lock in. You can see he's down 0 2, but he's still paying attention. That was a super clutch round from nephew. But yay, yeah, Snuggle Dude putting on the gas early on. The meaty Sonic Blade. Nephew fights out, gets the jab conversion. We get the spikes. Look at that distance he closed. Yeah. He's already in. This is how it begins, bro. Uh, Impact, he goes to the wall, and he falls down and the losers possibly as Knuckle Dude is on set point. This is looking horrendous. I don't care what the matchup says on paper. What it says on the screen right now is something way different. Uh, now. Hold on now. Checks him with just the drive rush, crouching normal. 
Goes for it again. The overhead is blocked. Knuckle Beaver is ready, but we miss a flash kick. Finally, nobody home on one of these. Just barely don't build the level three, though. That's so unfortunate for Nephew. He's trying to, trying to close this out. I double think that'll pierce. Do it. That'll do it. What a good call. Not even going for like the single pierce. The double pierce to get the level three. Neck. That okay. was good. Showing some mastery with JP. I'm sorry. My yeah, bad. see? Getting the reps in, man. And dialing in in this winner's final. Still has a chance. Fighting back. Oh, what is that? He just respects it the whole way through and then finds a jump in boot. The way he closes is just like normal, man. It's so good. Using normals as movement is tells all his time, but the way that dude does it with the uh, guy was wow. something else. Damn. Perfect KO. Okay, just peed on and about to get the win. Knuckle dude is not done draining. This dude's health. <laughs> yeah. As, as, as one of the great ones said, uh, what an answer. That was a that was an answer back to Nephew's one game win. As strong as you could ask for. A perfect on the board. Walks Nephew all the way to the corner. Holds the spike though, so Nephew gets a little bit decent. Then he checks him on the drive rush in. That wasn't real, my friend. Yeah, you can save heavy kick, being able to like just duck underneath and use the light. Smart stuff, like big drive impact committed. Not the biggest punch. Nephew trying to reset with the drive rush and lands a throw. This is not that bad. He has him in the corner. Looking for level two. There it is. Off the target combo. Ready with it. Stand fears. We have the follow up. OD for one more mix. That's all the parry. Careful the throw. Stand fears will fire on the shimmy. No way. He's got the four. Level three. His kills though. He was respecting. He was respecting so much in the corner, and he finds himself actually getting hit. Nephew was in such a phenomenal position, and now he goes into burnout himself. How is he going to clutch this out? The departure pops. Now he's holding these booms. He can't jump, man, and just the clean the overhead. overhead. Hello? The run up? He's so pulling up, bro. We outside. Bump $300 if we could make it. What if? For no reason. For no reason. No reason. But just to see it happen. Let me see 300. Chat, who got it like that? Come on now. My Ooh. big spinners. Let's go. You know the project? JBBB. Let's see. JB trying to open up with that crouching light kick again, but no one not getting open up. Instead, he gets hit with the light punch in the mixer. ODDP right back at him, though. These two started off playing some Street Fighter 6 against each other. Just whiffing parries in each other's faces. Throwing out DRs. This is what I like to see. Trying to vie for dominance in the neutral. That was crazy. Just gets a DR into the low medium punch. Catches him again. Just reaching in the cookie jar. Hello, sir. Is anybody home? Sorry, dude. You're on a diet. You're on a diet, my friend. The throw. Drive cross mm. overhead. Watch it out. Again, not going for the answer. He saw. I. You don't hear a receive player when he don't just swing out oh. the mixer. Watch the jump in there. Trying to get greedy with the meaty tornado. I don't know about that. No, it was definitely ready. Throws him back in the corner. Now almost burnout for JP. JP, no! I got away from him that was while he was in a great position. Very smart use of JP trying to take back the, the space of the OD. But got good for level one. Good anti fireball. Yeah, Noah's been ready with those level ones, man. That is that is such an annoying option that Luke has in his toolkit. Nice poke out from JB though, and the side switch. Noah does not care. OD reversal is there to check. Stand here, perfect carry. Yeah, there's a gap, but still the follow up. You got to be able to like perfect carry all of that. Carry the medium kick, bro. JB ready too as well. No counter off that medium so Trying to find a way to advance in. Noah is burnout. Can JB milk the most at level two? Travis is in. Maybe he doesn't want to level two because he's afraid of like level one. Sure. I forgot how fast level one is. Can he find a way? A knockdown perhaps? He's going to burn out here. Level three. This is not going to kill. So it's going to stack on a lot of damage. And we get an advantage. Was it critical art? Actually, it was critical art. I didn't realize. So nicely done. We have enough to get it done. Nice job, JB. Paying attention. What's up, JB? Oh, looking at Crouching Fierce, not sure why he was looking up when somebody's down there. In the corner, yeah, Windsor takes back the turn, but this is fine. JB saw some cough in the corner, will take that trade. Ooh. Fireball follow-up, ODDP, the bust out. ODDP <laughs> right back at him, What's a ghoul to a Ooh. goblin. Reaches out, just finds him. Good trade, JB can kind of take that. 
trades at this point are pushing Noah towards that critical zone as Noah just starts whiffing resources, trying to close the distance. Rears back two times, plus frames. Really? Were you waiting for that? Because the driver first oh. missed with DP. Oh, the level three jumps back, the fadeaway. Sweet, go for the chip, chip. There it is. If there was a gap, you know Noah was smashing the CA. But JB keeps it tight. Much. JB held strong. It's the 1 0 lead in the game. But Noah was looking good. It's been a battle, the OD reversals, man. 100%. They are disrespecting each other left and right, challenging, trying to force the other to work at their pace. Again, again. So I just read up on that. If he's ready for it, he's got level one. He can stop that level two from happening. Really? Nine frame startup on JB's side. Six frame startup on that level one. Cut up, so dude. Quick. Luke is so stupid. Well, Luke Burr's like, nah, he, he honest. Honestly ridiculous. Come on now. Interruption. Life starter. That's the finish of level one. To get the closer right there in that combo. They're playing so fast. They are absolutely trying to wear each other. I'm I'm afraid that whoever wins this set is going to be tired when they move into loser semis to play against so Nephew, bad. especially if they're going to have to run into a JP. Oh, yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Hard to deal with. Damn, that light pitch is great, but JP immediately answered back. Oh, he Jeez, bro. Puts himself in burnout, but now you're up in the corner. Level two, if he finds like one hit stand fierce. Or actually, he might even just one level three at this point if that level mm -hmm. one's too fast to deal with. Sword. Wait a minute, how did he get through that? Noah just threads the needle with that neutral jump there. Nicely done, and now we've gone all the way, literally just three seconds ago, we were in the other corner. We've walked Rashid all the way to the end. And we get it. Yeah, but again. That's a dub. Jump fierce. And no anti from the side of JP, my beloved OD don't work out for me. It just, OD, normal mixer, it just don't work out. That jump fierce is so it. horrible to deal with, man. Why did yeah. it hit that low? It makes no sense. I just... He's gifted. Street Fighter Five things. Look at this Street Fighter Five matchup, man. Love to see it. Just a couple of fivers hanging out here in six. A couple of fivers? <laughs> mm, throw loops what engaged. Fivers, <laughs> fivers in the chat. Yeah. Finally, my job, Street Fighter Five. <laughs> Dude. Noah shut him down. He's turning it up. Yikes. It's jungle. More consistent wow. with Mario you see as well. Like not as like a entry point, but just as like I've got my conversions off and I'm dealing with the damage. I like it. See, I like that better stuff like trying to drive us in. Then nothing happens. He wasted that bar. See, look at this. Half of his health is gone. He has him in the corner. You're gonna use that bar. Use it for something on hit. The block. Back throw into the corner. Even better. JB now in a crappy position. He just gets checked again. That juggled. Hello? What an anti air. He's playing up. relentless. That was so fast. Yeah, that's the way you gotta play. I feel like if you're if you're nowhere, else. And I feel like this is the way you should be playing this character. You have great advancing normals like light punch and stuff like that. Back to the drive rush. You have the quarter position. You dump all the damage to this character. You put that ball. So like, you go you go get what you need. You stay perfect. Bro. Nice perfect parry. Back throw into the corner. Playing playing that situation correctly. We don't get a whip punish on the shimmy. Good jabs. Get things started. Another throw. He's been ripping it. They both have been ripping it. Dutch mm -hmm. up. Really? Punish there. Cola, yeah. what just happened? That was beautiful. That was a whip right there, but JB, awareness to get the level one. And that puts him in burnout. Not by his terms. Finds a jump in, no Good. anti right there. You can back off or he's going for that chip. Level one. Oh, no big for the CGP. No, no one's going to want to press. No, no, no. 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 Yikes. Oh, so bro. sad. No, bro, you had the burnout. Man, if he had taken that round after forcing a meter out of Noah, it would have been so massive for JB. And now he's in a huge deficit. Noah on set point. Walk JB into the corner again. This time he fights out with the jab confirmed. Gets the mixer. We built some space. Checking him in neutral. We got to clear our wall from that back. Or our back from that wall. Do not let ourselves get pressed again. There's the H mixer. We did it. 
and he backed off enough for that to actually land. See, you have to back up for the anti-airs to work out. Overhead lands, brother, six of the drive mm -hmm. impact. Oh, I can scrap too. Big Danny, huge Danny. Nicely done. JB fighting back, saying, I might be down, but I ain't out yet. Paying attention. I like to see that. But things get a little rattly, a little scrambly. I like to see players not in autopilot. That reversal is not it, though. Noah cashes in a big punish early. We're missing 35% easy. And make it some more. Could be more. Jump into two with dividends. It's about to be the end. One hit confirmed in the level three is all he needs. He just Dude. let it rip us in. That's the win. No one with the level three. Diddle plan is on the fist land. Bam! Perfect KO to finish the round. Nicely done. Noah the Prodigy advances 3-1 over JB. I feel like I feel like Noah was all over him. 100 percent Like in this match. At least. <laughs> Nephew trolling. Love to see it. Losers final starting up next. We've got Noah the Prodigy holding down the Luke still. This is my first time seeing him in Losers Finals versus Nephew. Not my first time seeing him in the top three of these tournaments. Ooh. Already close to burnout, bro. It's been like 12 seconds. I think that Nephew was the one that actually sent down Noah to Losers, so. Oh, we're double jab. If my uh, commentary brain rot hasn't kicked in all the way. I might be right. And Nephew, again, taking advantage of that burnout state continuously was, I think, the play. So we'll see what happens. Ooh, Ooh he just responds in kind. I don't care if I'm going to burnout, man. I've already shown that. I'm not going to respect this mix up. Just to fight out. And he gets punished in the neutral. But a combo. Nicely done. Good stuff. Nephew for the first round here. Perfect turn of the fireball. Perfect turn right back at him. Maybe he could block and do better. <laughs> I just kind of feel that way sometimes. The perfect parries, I love it. I like mm -hmm. them hitting it right back to him. Nice check. They, they trade buttons in neutral. I know I know you was a Street Fighter 5 guy, and this is no cap on 5, but I just love seeing normals trade. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm used to seeing normals trade. The priority system was not for me. I love to see them buttons trade with each other. You know what? I I kind of like that. But I kind of like this better. I kinda, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. You know, the fact that people are going for like trade combos and stuff is super mm -hmm. sick. So is Noah right now. Once again, all over his opponents. That's where he's going to look at these Ws and make these good decisions happen. He's smothering them. When the rounds go good for Noah, they go really good. Nephew with a life lead early, though. Charges a kick. We have a fireball on deck. Let's go. I like that. Chasing it down. Using our drive meter since we're ahead. And this is going to send Noah in a burnout. And then just stacking on big damage. This is real bad. But that felt good. This feels bad right here. Noah in burnout. Let's worry about drive impact. No rebuttal here from Nephew's holding all this because he knows. One saw a sequence. We get the kill. The jump back does not reach. We don't have the best like jump back buttons to punish, but this will. And Noah broke down that round. Massive whiff from Noah the Prodigy there. Nephew ready for the punish. Closes it out. Takes the first game 1-0. I would have thought that Luke would give Jury more problems too. I just feel that way about the Shoto archetype in general. I really feel like the fact that Nephew plays around Burnout so much is very problematic. Like he's really, really good about playing around the Burnout face of Noah. And no one not be able to find like the turnover seat against that situation. You know, I like that no one smothers him, but when that doesn't happen, like, you know, out of these distances, it's kind of hard. Die kick wall. Okay. He is down. It's a sizable lead. Noah can take it with this combo if we're accurate. Yes, we are. The perfect uppers are good. Solid job. It's, it's mentioned so much how efficient. Luke is with his combos. As long as he's got a little bit of green to spend, he doesn't actually need that meter. So he saves it both bars going into the round two. Nice anti here from Nephew, though. Yeah, on point with the pinwheel. A lot of weird ranges with it, but it does cover a lot of space that you would not expect. Mm -hmm. Stocks up and all that sequence. I like that. Needs more extensions if he gets into him. Yeah, right there. It's the starter. Let's jump heavy kick. Another yeah, one. Give me another throw. Ooh. Bro. Ooh. The throw loop situation is so deadly. Doesn't matter who you are or what character you play in Street Fighter 6. We all got to deal with it. 
Nice attempt from Nephew, closing that out. Drive rushes in and just gets the throw. Burst. Oh, I gotta be careful. Level three. And again, Nephew aiming for that, that bar as much as possible, that drive game. But I feel like, again, exercising around as much as possible. He's trying to kill as much gate as possible. Walk up throw. Oh, brother. Pressured into burnout once again. He's got to watch out for the super. It might not matter. Massive confirm coming in here from Nephew. One more confirm or throw would do it. Noah back against the wall. He's going to survive this. Oh, it's so tense. He's pressuring. He puts out a couple He's so afraid of like a drive impact. No! Just a full hot stock to make him drop. Nephew. On game point, it's like you're looking like I feel like Noah's like, you, like, looking for that that super in the middle of a drive impact. But nephew knows his game. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm familiar with you. the nastiness, my boy. I think familiar is a really good, good way to put it. Nephew seems prepared for this, whereas everybody else was so overwhelmed with the pacing and the chaos that Noah was bringing to the matches. Noah's just looking solid, keeping it up, he's acting like a wall. Great drive rush into the confirm. Tries to catch Noah whipping, but instead, Noah catches him reaching. Gets him into the corner. Goes into burnout. Do we spin? Good choice. Pass, pass it that way. There we go. Not alive. Still alive. Wow. Not alive. See, I called it. I said not alive because, like, you know, <laughs> he's going to do ODDP and then Noah's going to bait. I knew that. I knew that. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew that. Of course. OD Pinwheel wasn't even a terrible option, but just smart for Noah to expect it. B blocked it out, gets the punish, takes the round. Still alive here in game three. Walks him all the way to the corner, too. Nephew in trouble with his back against the wall. Except the throw, does that one get back thrown up in the corner? Noah sending out that target combo gets the knockdown. DP, see, now it's different when they got a DP that actually denies your neutral jump fierce true that was a big money maker for Noah in a lot of the earlier a lot of the earlier sets and nephew's already blown it up a couple times with the pinwheel it's caught no conversion could have built a lot of separation for Noah the eye still a threat here especially now be careful there it is now impact yeah I gotta stock up that stuns out in about for a long time through that level through the other side America reset oh. it all works out the Chicago punish and this is sick. It's about to get real, real windy up in here. Look at that level three. Or the level two. And if he now has a, has a, a meter build advantage over Noah, sitting on three stocks compared to Noah's two, although he's building meter quickly. That level three is going to be available very, very soon. Plus frames. We get the throw. Now the level three is active, and Nephew is down on drive gauge. Noah could actually get a point on the board here. That's a massive whip punish. Are we gonna spin it? Yes, we are. It's gonna pull him into burnout. Your game to win here, Noah. This is his burnout. One hundred percent. No How help. Push back out. up. Or just drive it back. Yeah, it's over here. Damn. Is it coming through? Mm -hmm. Pardon me. Honestly, I like the killer instinct there. Just go for the the raw di. You have such a massive life lead that even if you wake up supers and gets out of it, you're still in a pretty fine position. So, well done from Noah the Prodigy. Just go ahead and press his advantage and get the win. Gets a, gets a win on the board. Two to one, or one to two now against Nephew. How is Nephew gonna respond? Just drive rushes in and hits him. I mean, that's what you should be doing with this character, Jury. Mm -hmm. Drive rush medium, damn near anything you can think of. Always a great option. So Noah like, has to check a challenge that, which is really hard to do. But I just, like, outrage fireballs, like, outside the space. Ooh. Burnout, bad decision. If Nephew goes for the drive impact to punish. Nice job. Oh, it's so strong. Even though the drive rush gets him clear under the character, the pinwheel reverses, force corrects, and then the follow up confirm from Nephew will put him to set point. Nicely done. He's got two bars to two bars. Can Nephew clutch it out? Take this 3 1. You know he doesn't want to get into the game. Do you do not want Noah to start, start like Vaughn getting nasty, you know, getting really aggressive with the corner, making some wild decisions. You don't want to have to deal with that. Throw. Okay. The throw this time. I like that OD fireball. Get some space up in this place. Back him up. Drive, watch, light, punch. Counter hit. Ah. 
Burnout, doesn't matter, the throw comes in. Noah has not cared about Burnout in a single set he's played the entire night. He's been comfortable here. Mm -hmm. For his whole life. Yeah, he was born in it, bred in it. Doesn't matter, Nephew finds the kill, he finds the dagger to the heart, hands on to the level three, that's gonna do it. Nephew advancing three to one over Noah the Prodigy here in Losers Finals. Damn. Yeah, damn. <laughs> that was a that was a momentum stuffer if I've ever seen one. Just as it seemed like Noah the Prodigy was heating up, finding his rhythm, trying to make things a little bit difficult for Nephew. choosing to stick out the same matchup. JP versus Guile. This is Nephew's project. He's been working on it. We saw it last week, but not so much success. This time, this week, he's had a lot more success. So who knows? He's got to win two sets against arguably one of the best in the world at this time. Let's see if he can get it done. And one of the angriest too when it comes to fighting this character. Facts. You think you hate JP? Nah, not gonna do. I've never seen that dude angry in his life, except for when JT is brought up. Nice start from Knuckle Dude. Pushes Nephew into the corner. This is kind of how it looked like before when the games were good for Knuckle Dude. He just moves JP into the corner, pressures that drive gauge, stays in such an uncomfortable range. We finally see an OD amnesia. Go for a super, but that's no good, my friend. Damn! You see him walking Dang. up on that bar at the bar. Bro, nah. Nah, 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 nah. This dude is so nasty. He's ready for the punish. The DI was sick with it. Nice face. Build the bar at the bottom and the top two as well with that sequence. Here we go. Nephew's not done yet. Off the back or Pierce. Departure. Checks out after the departure. It seems like Nephew is just a little bit loose on some of these situations, no? It's like Knuckle Dude's been able to jab out and get confirmed and, and opportunities where you'd think that maybe JP would be able to play some media. Yeah. That's right. Like gaps, too, man. Right? Gaps. Upside down kick. That's good against like crouching media kick to the side of JP. Here's the back door though. This is real good. Nephew sets mm -hmm. up. Good departure. Here's just trying to sort of walk on in. Knuckle Dude skates in with the drive rush. Crouching media kick starts off the point with level three. You know it's about to be burned out city with a Sonic Snapper. Almost at least. Maybe Sonic Boom? Really? Oh, level two. Recovers up. Okay, we get the last hits. That's maybe enough to get back into this if we're nephew. Two bars is a costly spin. But Knuckle Dude did spin three on the level three. Oh, he was ready for the back to back jump. And then we're back in that sweet spot where it's been so rough for us so many times. Knuckle Dude takes the first game in style. Damn. Again, what matters yeah. on paper don't matter in the match, bro. I'm telling you, you get angry enough about Three. a matchup, you hate a matchup, day after day you punch a drywall due to this matchup, <laughs> you are going to be a master, win or lose, against a matchup. And in a hurry, it's back to the jury. I like that. I see you, Ajax, sliding in the 10 piece. Thank you so much, my friend. Bumping us $10 closer to the goal. Come on, we at 260 $40 short of the 300 gold. What if we made Tong so happy and hit that 300 for the players? For no reason. For no, for no reason. reason at all. No. Just to do it. For a yep. laugh. We got the jury, baby. This is the real this is the real grand finals. Real grand finals has been unlocked. Nice combo. I like that. That's you showing look at this, showing so much potential early on. Mm -hmm. This is the nephew one to see, right? I thought this is the nephew. That has really made this character uh, dominant, you know what I'm saying? Like, almost dominant jury player. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a quick learner. I mean, him learning JP, nothing to sniff at, but mm -hmm. this jury, way better pick. He's so comfortable. At some point, you just gotta bet on what you have down, you know, to a T, and his jury is automatic. Doesn't matter what range he's at, he's comfortable. No gaps. Okay. I literally called no gaps. And dude just finds the one of the flash kick. It doesn't matter. Nephew responds. Super sharp. Takes the first round. Nicely done. Damn. With that back heavy punch, immediately we see a whip punish. This, this is the comfortability we Yo. expect here from Nephew. When you play a matchup that you maybe wrapped up a little bit longer, the character you've played a lot longer too as well. Damn. Look at this respect, bro. What is this? They are literally just sitting in front of each other. That can't be good for the jury. They're waiting for drive rush. They're oh, waiting for drive rush, bro. Doing, actually. Good one with the five. Much love to you. We inching closer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for the support tonight. It has been live. We're sitting at 265. 
trying to get to that 300 goal before the end of the night. This is your grand finals, ladies and gentlemen. Nuff Nephew trying to fight back against the dominance of Knuckle Dude. He finds the stuff and the punish counter. We have the level three combo on deck if we want to spend it. We choose to save it. He gets the whiff. Cool, he's gonna Beats get it out. He's gonna get Oh one. yeah. He said one on the boy. He said I got one more in me. Let me see the. I got one more in in me in the chat. I got one more in me. Let's go, Nep. Make us competitive. I want to see a fight. Judy. Ties it up. One to one. KP, I want to see fight, not flight. I want to see swinging. Agreed. I want to see. I want to see some scraps. I want to see blood on the goddamn floor. I gotta wait all the way till next Wednesday to commentate Street Fighter 6 for my boy again. I don't want the night to be over just yet. I want to see this and go the distance, enjoy myself, enjoy this company. Great Street Fighter. He just checks him with the upside down kick in neutral. Nephew gets stuck. He's jumping on fireballs. He's getting hit by Sonic Blade. Sonic Cross tearing him up. This is not looking good, my friend. This is not looking good at all. OD sets it out. The wall of booms, bro. The buffet of booms. And Nephew. Needs to be on a diet. Can't take too much more. Dude, working on a perfect the light kick starter. This should be the close of the jab jab. Man, a nasty conversion of combo right there for the Southern Knuckle Dude. Good block. Oh, we didn't get the punish though. Feeling themselves out. Fighting at that, that really calculated range. And so far, Knuckle Dude has been finding success. Great with punish. Another check. Another check. He's just finding these little like nickel and dime hits. Yeah. And they have some more flash kicks. Anti right there. Drops them down. Perfect. Boom. And a flash kick. Baiting out these reactions. Nephew, I mean, like, what else can we do? You have to perfect to try to get in. The train. Uh, Dude yeah. with a stop sign to like it. Did not find a move through. Level three. Hold this. As good as the last game was for Nephew. Knuckle Dude looks insanely sharp in game three. Shuts down all the approaches from Jury, making this matchup looking extra tough right now. Is Nephew going to be able to dig deep and finish this out? Is he going to go back to the JP? Oh, no, nah, he's oh, sticking with it. Oh. This is a difficult matchup. There's not like, there's not things that she can't do. She mm -hmm. has various like dive kicks. There we go. I like that. Calling out the flash kick. Unless she gets injured, you're real nasty. Unless she gets that level two up on the deck. She's still cheap with it. But God definitely has the advantage of this matchup. But Drake can always fight any matchup. Though. Like she's never out of it. Kyle's back is against the wall. That's the good news, but Jury's dry meter is just getting pressured. We're at a stock and a half at best. It forces you to like perfect parry. It's even normal parry to keep your bar as much as possible. Because otherwise, it's burnout shit. And the fact that Nuffy Dude wails it down so well is a mark of him and not just guy. He'll do that with Candy as well. It don't matter who it is. His preemptive button game is so strong. He just gets into those ranges where he can sense what you're trying to accomplish. His buttons are always in the right place. He moves up to set point, tournament point, here on the Wednesday night, Street Fighter 6, number 16. If you were to pick up Gao, y'all ain't doing it like, like, you're not doing it like him. You're not doing it like dude, bro. This is years and years of understanding Yikes. fireball patterns, anti-airs, baits and things like that. It's charge time, it's all coming together with this character and Knuckle Dude right now. Bro, where do you go? Where do you find success in the approach against Knuckle Dude? He shuts it all the way down. High, low, in the neutral, in the sky. Oh my Whoa. goodness, ladies and gentlemen, this might be the end. He whiffs. No. He whiffs. He drops. All right. Level two. What's the save? All right. I should some of the other side of the screen. I like this. I like this. Order carry. But still, things mm. are deadly. Look at that bar at the bottom at level three. Could bust out if need be. And burn out the air to air. Beats him in the skies. DP pin heel, fly cross, whips a throw. There we go. Neff is still in. Dark Nephew. And we saved the last meter too. So we have a reversal on deck. If we want to use it, we can tack it on the end of our combos. That was a great round for Nephew. Jumps over the booms. Doesn't get any air. That's a win, honestly. Knuckle Dude has been so precise on them before. Really? Really? Oh. Just gets the kick there. Nicely done. Fireball trades under the boom. We have Knuckle Dude caged. Look how good he is at buying space, though. Yeah, but look at Nephew. He was close as possible with these parries. 
This is what I want to see, like the parry situation. Like this is how you fight Guile. Overhead lands, mm. finds an opening. Okay. Wait a minute. Can you get level two? Text a throw. That will do. Ooh, Tex. That will do being clutch. Front reverse, reverse back up in the corner. Ooh. Caught the back dash. We're still hanging out, chat. Two to two. Knuckle Dew versus Nephew. Nephew fighting back. I think uh, that's the this is the closest set Knuckle Dew has had so far tonight. Mm -hmm. Closer than yeah. the first, that's for sure. Ooh, the OD flash kick there to just stop all that forward momentum early. Three stocks on deck for Nephew though. What a max range punish, man. Yeah, fantastic punish count. Close up for that uh, back heavy punch to reach. Sonic cool, perfect. Not able to find what he can eat right after, but this is still not that bad. Not to do in a big lead in a big way. Flash kick. One more touch. Tax a throw. Walk up. Tax a throw again. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, yeah. Walk out. Jump over. Knuckle be ready for the punish on the landing frames. Nicely done. Set point once again for Knuckle Dude. Can Nephew find some magic? A punish counter, stand heavy kick will definitely get us started. And we could just backing up the position where it looks like medium punch rubber did not reach. Nephew, we pop level two, we pop level one. Okay, get that burnout. I don't mind this. You have him in the corner. Yeah. Level one, try to get that drive in. Knuckle Dude jumped out, which was super clutch, but it didn't matter because Nephew found the hit and he ties up the rounds. Now it's officially reset point for Nephew. Can he make this happen? Can he really do this? You're trying to oh. shut it down. Flash kick OD to catch that drive. Ooh. This is bad. Far at the bottom, level three. Depending on the sequence, he might be able to get that kill. He's something real nasty. Real disgusting. Brian will find you. Oh, he's working down. He's he ready. Back. That that breaks though with the, with the yeah. blade. Oh, oh you're no. dead in the deck. No. You're cooked, okay, man. burnout. You this is bad. You have to wake up. Impact. Wait, no help to react just like that. Knuckle Dude God, is a grand champion of TNS. Once again, he has won another TNS Street Fighter 6 tournament.